you know, part of me wonders if the stream marker thing from the part of the uh, dashboard that I had opened from last time is going to, well, by last time I mean the previous stream a couple of days ago, is going to still function properly as its own separate thing in this stream, but I would hope that it would. Especially because, for some reason, when I opened that in the Opera window, which seems to be the only one that reliably doesn't crash, at least out of the stuff that I use uh, with any kind of regularity. It never has the stream marker thing as a uh, thing that's visible by default, or even though it really should. But there's a bunch of stuff that doesn't really matter in its place, but... But yeah. I live again, and in such a short period of time relative to the last location, that is rather unusual at this point, I would think, but perhaps it shall not remain that way, we shall see, but yeah, well, to whosoever may be stumbling upon this at any point in history, however, and anybody else at this may reach, uh, I think I was gonna make another brief complaint about Twitch system, which, you know, it would be hard. But if I was, then it must have just slipped my mind quite promptly. Maybe I wasn't gonna comment on that, but rather on the fact that uh, I'm pretty much forced to play these uh, tracks from the iTunes source, but uh, unfortunately because iTunes is kind of really suboptimal in many respects, uh, you can kind of hear that one of the things that it does is that uh, unless each track that it plays is in exactly the same bitrate, yeah, it does this weird sound glitches, even though any other program pretty much will play those without having that problem, but hey. Unless they have, find a way to like integrate this snip thingy that I use to, you know, display the... Uh, the song information on the stream. And unless they find a way to make it able, or make it possible for me to, uh, plug this into the other thing that I actually use for music most of the time at this point, which is Music B, then... I guess I'm just gonna have to keep it doing this, or maybe I can just like... I mean, it's not a huge impact, but maybe I could like read all the... Uh, the Metroid Prime stuff from this... This playlist in particular, since uh, it's like one of the few things that actually has that problem. I don't believe Valkyrie Profile does. But hey, speaking of video games, I should probably get around to playing some, especially since I started kind of late. I kind of started like a couple of hours ago, but uh, as usual I get distracted with stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I better take care of this now, and not uh, do the thing that I was actually planning to do at this point, which is no doubt a very sensible way of going about things. Let's see. So, however, it's time to... I need to try and figure out what I'm gonna do. I think I already know exactly how I'm gonna do it, though. Since, if I'm not very much mistaken, I pretty much have all of the exact same... Uh, stuff that I, was using, that I was using for the last stream just open already, so... Uh, because I've never actually closed it since then. So it should just be a matter of uh, wondering why I didn't reset the clock to the right time, which is 20 minutes and not 5 minutes, which I was using for a different thing. Oh dear, I'm thinking that I have to re-add the... Uh, what should I call it? Let me see, what happens if I... Okay, that works. What about this one? That one like took a moment to show up, that one is not showing up. Maybe it's because I need to come over to this tab instead and maybe reset it and maybe that time it'll work. Yeah, there you go. And just keep it open. No real need to change that. And hey, Scuderia Karma, welcome back. It's mine with Calvin voice. I suppose that would be me in a matter of speaking, yes. Good to see you again. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm pretty much gonna try to do the same sort of thing that I was doing last time. So... I should have an updated list that I can use. Uh, I mean, this one is more or less... It's not gonna be very different from the one that's kind of already in place there. Just got cleaned up from the stuff that I did last time, and I think there might be a couple of things that I actually added on. After the fact, so I'm just gonna add it, copy paste it like I just did, and shuffle this so it's not all alphabetical. 
And let's see. Tickets for Metasol just get straight into it. These are a bunch of games that... In theory, I guess I can just restate this. Should be beatable within... Like a couple hours at the most. Some of them may even be beatable in the 20 minute time limit that I set for myself. But yeah, the idea is that I play each of these things for 20 minutes. Just to kind of show them off. And uh, for a lot of them, just has been stuff that I have never actually played in any capacity. So to help myself judge if I want to like play them for any longer than that at some point in the future. I'm going to note the first winner from this list is Rad Racer, which is an NES game. Which I do believe I at least tested out before, but not to any great extent. So let me see. And as before, I suppose I will just have this iTunes playlist continue uh, during the times before I actually get the emulator up and running and actually showing stuff. Uh, so I do believe Rad Racer does have... That should just be ready now. Here it is. Let me just go ahead and try to get it. Up here. Make sure the sources are turned on, which they are not necessarily right now, but they should be in just a moment. Yeah, there he goes, Rat Racer. Racing. Well, I believe so. I think it's more like probably in line with stuff like. Uh, well, let me go ahead and fade this out so I can actually focus on the game now. With sort of early arcade car games in the line of like pole position and outrun and what have you, which a uh, few of them that also fit that description and in fact that I just mentioned should also be on this list. Come to think of it, so you might see a bit more of this. Uh, just check the volume. Where's the volume thingy that I should. Not have made inaccessible for some reason. Oh, it's just over there. I just didn't see it because I am blind. But I don't think there's supposed to be any volume right now, but there should be some tracks that are in this game. Let's see. I do vaguely remember there's like something that you may or may not have to do, some special command that you may or may not have to do just to be able to actually get the music in the game to activate. But yeah. Then I will change the radio station up our while well, accelerating is turbo. Alright. Who's F1 machine? I actually don't know what I did. Hold on. <laughs> Let me reset it. F1 machine, twin turbo. I mean... Press start to begin. I don't know if it'll actually let me do that. I am pressing buttons and it doesn't mean that... Or it doesn't seem that it's doing anything right now, oh dear. Alright, never mind, there we go. I guess we have begun the game, let me go ahead and start the clock while I'm at it. Okay, there's like a more concrete car selection that I could have done. I don't really know how... Oh, goodness. I don't really know how I could have done that. And yeah, speaking of outrun, if you somehow just touch anything that's on the side of the road, you go flying like that. So it would seem. So that changes it. Hmm. Well, then I inevitably come to the obligatory failure that will come after a certain amount of time attempting this. Let's we'll see if I can get the other one to select. So I guess I am just slowly not able to accelerate anymore because I ran out of time, yeah. It seems to be a running theme in a lot of these like early arcade car games, like I said. You have like a time limit to like travel a certain distance and if you don't manage to do that then you just kinda get stopped. And the implicit goal I guess is just to travel the entirety of the course. But hello Agatha. And thank you for the reserve and yeah, I am playing 
the game that you edited to chase us in my episode. That is, in fact, what is going on right now. Let me see if I can change the music, though. I guess it doesn't have to be, like, just one particular track for each of the stages. You can just kind of cycle between them. Time, so we are slowly coming to a halt. Question is, question is, will we come to a halt before we are able to reach the next checkpoint uh, position? It looks like we are in fact going to do that, yeah. Even though it looks like we got kind of close. <laughs> like, goddamn. Sany indeed. So let's try that again. Hold on. How did I do Okay. Start to begin. Oh, oh, so you can. I forgot about this, but that's like a thing you can do. You can actually. Turn on a 3D mode, which you can actually do in fake 3D if you wear 3D glasses. Hold on. I have my fake 3D glasses I do. I actually have a copy of the book, Planet of the Apes, which has a cover like that, and they gave you like a three pair of glasses, uh, three glasses you can use to, uh, you know, do that. Oh, good. Put them on and you got like the fake 3D effect. Let me see if it works with this at all, because I'm not entirely convinced that it does. Because uh, I'm putting the glasses on right now and it doesn't really look any different. Even you know, when I see the game through them. But do bear in mind that I'm putting the 3D glasses over my regular glasses as well. Maybe like this, I don't know. Yeah, it might not be the best idea, honestly. Doesn't seem like it works all that great. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Let's replace these. And let me see. I guess I'm gonna have reset completely. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was pretty sure that I pressed select on the screen before. I didn't actually manage to move that thing to where it was over the EF1 machine. I guess we'll try the EF1 machine this time. Let's see how we do. Because, uh, yeah, if you press select it after you, that screen, it only turns this thing on and off, so let's just, uh, let's try this again. Let's listen to some tunes. We yeah, always listen to this first one, I think, so let's listen to the second one a little bit more. Let's see exactly how this is going to work. I guess there's there. Other F1 cars on the road this time as the obstacles instead of the little VW looking things. Or at least they look like that to my very untrained uh, car wise eyes that were on the road before. Oh dear. Yeah, thinking not really drifting, I don't know, really not even call it drifting, but just like slamming the brakes, whatever it looks like. The turns become sharp enough that you're in danger of just going off the road. Seems to be the right course of action. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I think I got extremely lucky there and not slamming into the sign. Just got back on the road at just the right time. was also very unlucky. Which was actually the opposite of what happened before. We actually got lucky, but... A lot of trouble went straight anyway. I'm not actually sure if there's like any other buttons that I can press to do anything. Well, I can totally freaking... If I tap select, I can probably totally... Uh... Oh boy, I think I'm just dead because I'm getting pulled back into the road while the, uh, the time is up. Happen again, what do you know? Let's try that one more time. Uh, up arrow. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'll try that this time. And I press A. Yes, let's try track 3 this time. I think there's only like 3 tracks that you can cycle through if uh, the Microsoft has any indication other than whatever track you hear when you actually get to the end of the game, anyway. Oh dear. 
any, any kind of contact between yourself and these green cars is gonna result in you veering off the road. If we have like a limited amount of turbo that we can use, that would make sense, I would think. Alright, let's see. Okay, cars are invincible, yeah. <laughs> that is in fact very unfortunate, especially in fact of or in light of every single contact with them that I have. Be pressing my luck by doing the turbo during these uh, turns where you can really see. Well, you're turning in any kind of capacity, not necessarily a sharp one, but definitely turning is happening. Let's see if I can actually, you know, get to the second checkpoint this time. Really have no idea. I've only like crashed once so far. Oh dear. Nope, never mind. And the time is up, so. I always seem to come so, so close, and yet don't quite manage to do it. I wonder if I'll be able to do that at all before my time limit with this game is up. I'm guessing that the uh, name of the game on that one would be Don't Crash, but yeah. Just we'll listen to track 3 again some more. checkpoint in the nick of time. Well, they could manage to do the same with the second one, or at least, you know, not always end up crashing and coming to a dead stop just before time runs out, before I get to the second one. Maybe I'd have a little bit of hope, but uh, it always seems that, also always seems that every single time that, that comes close to happening, there's like three of the stupid enemy cars on the road, or at least enough of them to create like an impassable horizontal barrier. This is them, or at least a different version of them. If I can get past them, that will definitely be a victory for me. Now they seem to be growing more numerous this time. There's like three clusters of them that time. And yet, exactly the same thing happened again. It's like, it's predestined to happen. Back through to the other tracks as well. If I can, you know, get past the second checkpoint at all, I think I can officially consider that victory in my book for this game. But as always, the question is going to be how my voice is going to be when I'm the one in control. Oh boy. And how lucky can you get with just getting back on the road just in time to not get uh, nailed by those palm trees? Oh jeez. Yeah. It appears that every single time that there's a cluster of these fuckers that are in the way. Uh, the first priority should be not necessarily to go as fast as possible, but just to get past them without crashing into them and getting them immediately fuck's sake, have that happen. Nope. Nope. Now well, the time is not about to run out, but I get the feeling it might as well be. 
I can get the time to run out while I am not like oh geez. Like not while I am Okay yeah. I know that's zero speed. I think that's might actually be the first time if not Okay, there we go. Managed to get past it. That's definitely been the first time that I've managed to get past the second checkpoint, but also I may or may not have been the first time that I managed to run out of time for the second uh, stretch without being at zero speed out of that stuff. Jeez. Well, I don't know if I have any hope of uh, making it to any other checkpoints past this one, but. Like that first big hurdle was at least overcomable. If nothing more. Oh. Well, I don't see any flags on the horizon, so I guess I didn't come that close to the third one at least. Uh, but apparently, according to the map, I may as well have. Go figure. Jeez, alright, let's uh, let's keep it, just keep on giving this, uh, just keep on trying again and again. I mean, that's kind of the whole point. Apparently, I guess there's multiple courses you can do, not just, um, but this one is just the first course that I don't really don't know that I'm gonna be able to ever finish. Apparently more. Nope. nope, didn't quite manage to look out that time. And yeah, I got killed last minute. That seemed to be a, another bit of a factor in this game. I'm kind of noticing that like you're supposed to navigate these roads effectively, but there's also the luck factor with not getting screwed over by the AI racers. I think eight, well, seven or eight levels is in there. Uh, as in total stops you can, like, check once you can have, or as in different maps that you can have. So right now I think I only have access to the one map, so... The thought of, like, eight maps like this... That actually is handy difficulty. I find kind of scary at this point. Oh, for oh boy. Maps, though. Fuckers before the time runs out, nope. Well, that may very well be the second time that I managed to get, like, the second clock run out without getting just completely screwed over on the speed preemptively, but... Just keep at it for the next five minutes or so at least. Oh jeez. Every time. Like at least it doesn't really seem like there's some kind of incentive to uh, necessarily try to overtake all of them just to get them out of the way to overtake as many of them. Like in I don't know, Daytona USA or something where it's pretty much you know do this and also finish first. In your lane, please. You're gonna be a nuisance, at least three nuisance. That follows your own rules consistently. Oh, shoot. Wait, did I end up losing on the first checkpoint because I crushed one time? I think I did. <laughs> wow. What a shame. Myself to not break at all and 
clock is slow. to make it past that, please. And then just got shoved instantly to the side and got slammed into another side. I feel like I'm, you know, as these tries continue on, I'm definitely trying my best to actually continue on and uh, not bump into the cars, like the green cars, as much as possible. I do use strategy specifically to avoid that uh, outcome, but always something like one more of them to thwart that attempt. I don't really know how else I can describe that, but... Definitely does seem to be my favorite spot to just get stopped. But I'll tell you what, we'll try this one again, Twin Turbo. Might as well give that another try. Or the last couple of minutes have we do this. And just keep cycling through these tracks. Yeah, they definitely look like freaking beetles to me. And like, would they actually be racing at that kind of speed in a freeway like this? Like, my family want a beetle like that. Who knows, a little... ...vegetable child, and... I don't know if I would ever say that, um, it struck me as being well known for being able to hit great speeds or anything like that. That one time the handbrake kinda seemed like it didn't work quite right though I was like done going down a slope to uh to a parking lot and kinda run into a pole that was sticking up from the ground and it seemed to take the hit quite well. I believe that was pretty much my most concrete experience of me receiving any indication that the beaver was hardy in any sense. to get completely knocked off the road. Two seconds left, but less than that on the actual game clock that I put on stream. Hey, uh, there we go. I guess I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna stop this run just now, though, just because this is the second ever time that I actually managed to get past the second checkpoint. So let's see how far we can take it before we inevitably lose again. Okay, I'm definitely expecting that to happen, but I do want to see how far I can take things before that happens. Too good to be true, there's just like a completely clear space where you can be go between the two cars. Oh shit, actually I made it even farther this time. I'm a little scared now because I'm yeah, expecting something like that to happen any moment. Beagles can be good ride cars maybe, but not racers like this. Yeah. That's what I would expect. But on this I am very much mistaken, this may well be the final stretch. Uh, I'm assuming that it works the same way as all the other ones, so. I don't know if I really have any actual hopes of making it to the end, especially after that crash, but I guess we'll see. Especially with this 
getting shot all over the place from any kind of contact. Well, I see that I only have one hour to go, but the question is, the question is will I be able to wake? Okay. Ten. Nope, apparently I did manage to finish it this time. <laughs> there you go. What a breeze, even though that was not a breeze at all. Where I was concerned. That was apparently... Well, that was like Sunset Coastla Coastline or something, but... I guess you move on to San Francisco Highway after that. Even though, yeah, the time is up, so I'll tell you what, I'll just hit the save state slot on this. I'm guessing that you can't actually, like, preserve this. But, uh, I mean, in, in a manner of speaking, my, what am I mean? Points or uh, purposes of... Uh, no, that's the wrong button. This is what I want. One of the main... Uh, purposes of me checking out these games is to check out the music, and I guess I managed to mostly do that. Second course, third course, four, five, six, seven, there's apparently eight courses, and I'm guessing that you have to like complete all of them in sequence without messing up. Complete course one without using the brakes, okay. Sure, without turbo, oh gosh. Complete a course on 3D mode, that seems like... Well, I guess we could have done that, but... It seems like a different kind of challenge, but yeah, no, I think we're... Uh... Well, that was Rad Racer. That was uh, course one of Rad Racer, which I did save state myself in, so... So that can be preserved. Let me put this on again for a bit while we figure out how to... or what's next, rather. How to choose what's next is not what we need to figure out, just what is next, because that first part is already figured out. So let me see. Rad Racer should be off the list now. There's a cheat thing where when you lose you can press start and A to restart the level you lost and oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean that would probably be me considering how long it took me to just get past one level. Or maybe not so much how long, it's just number of tries. But let's see. Spin the wheel and see what we got. Oh boy. This should be interesting because this is one of those games that I definitely have access to, but... Uh, I do have access to Alchemy, but... This is actually going to be doubly interesting because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to keep this window with the clock in it uh, in the same place that I have it right now. I'm going to assume no, I'm going to move it over here. And put everything else on top of it. Oh, and that uh, changes the display a little bit, but that's alright. <laughs> I have to bear with that for this, but uh, yeah, this is like an old PC game. It's an old PopCap game, as a matter of fact. And I do have... where the fuck is my mouse cursor? It just like went invisible for a second. Okay. I do have it here, but... Uh, I have made no previous attempt at like trying to capture it, so... I guess we're gonna find out how this goes. I'm going to assume that it will be possible, but not too sure on how efficient it will be, but let's see. Let us fade out the cross-code title theme, and let us... Well, let me actually run this, I guess I'm going to turn on the game capture, but... It's not going to be bound to this thing anymore, hold on, let me actually make a device spread for For a moment, so I can... Focus on this, and see if it will let me just focus on this. Alright, well, it's running. I have it selected. And I'm, I guess, trying to find out whether or not the software capture will be good enough to capture it. But I'm guessing the answer is going to be no. I'm going to have to try window capture. That's alright. I will try... Uh, I would like to try alchemy, but... doesn't let me select alchemy because of the fact that... the thing is... hold on. What happens if I turn on display capture? It's gonna show the monitor on the right, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so what happens if I turn on display capture and then do this? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to do it that way. Let me just go ahead and adjust the sizing for that then. That's all I really need to do. Uh, 
But why is this letting me do wonky stuff? Ah, whatever. I'm going to assume that this is good enough. And I'm going to preemptively... Uh, where's this thing? Start the clock, because we kind of need... I'm not really going to be able to switch windows once this is starting out, but... Uh, and the clock does not show up. Why does the clock not show up? Hold on. Uh, I didn't minimize this thing. Is it because it's not focused? That seems pretty dumb. Oh boy, well, I think the clock is still running, so... I'm gonna reset the clock, I guess. Uh, 20 minutes. From now, we should still be able to hear the sound at least, so that's gonna have to be how we are able to tell. And that the time's up, but yeah. It's on the stream, yeah, but uh, looks like it doesn't actually update after I, I go off the thing. What do we call it? After I uh, focus the window that it's actually running off of, but yeah, this is Alchemy. Just welcome to Alchemy. And yeah, welcome to Alchemy. Uh, we're not going to continue a saved game, but I believe this is one of those games that only has like one track, which is what you're hearing right now. Well, I guess technically two tracks if you count like that very short loop that was... Uh, what should I call it? That was um, playing on the title screen there. But this is we have no phase. We can start the tutorial, I guess, because I don't quite remember what you're supposed to do here. You can turn the whole board into gold by placing magical runes on every square, such as this one. No, never mind. Next to the grey stone below. Not sure exactly where, but... We must match the rune in either color or shape or both. There's a few more runes now. Alright, uh, I can't place this one. Seems so. Can just put it in the other end, right? We complete an entire row or column of wounds, they will disappear. So let's go ahead and do that. I complete a line either horizontally or vertically. Now we can just do one. Right. You can discard it by clicking the discard button over there. I guess. That's the forge cool off. Three wounds in a row, safely with the forge will end the game. All right. Alright, I can get it. Always remember to keep a close eye on the forge during play. Which new rune must match shape or color with all the runes it's next to? So, not this one. Not this one, and not this one, but yes, this one. These stones are wildcards and be placed next to any rune, but I mean, will they help complete the thing? I have our skull system to any rune to place on the for you or against you. Alright. Start playing. Um, I guess let's start on easy because I don't have a lot of uh, confidence with my own ability here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. And we can place it there. Hmm. to get rid of anything. That we might as well. Let's try to get rid of this one, I guess. Oh boy. Put that up there, replace this one, and yeah. Uh, I mean, will this complete the thing? It will, in fact, complete the thing, I guess that answers my question, so there you go. That's pretty much uh, what you would expect from podcast puzzle stuff, except it's got this soundtrack which unless I am very much mistaken uh, this is usually brought up as a quite an interesting bit of trivia this by I think probably by Peter Skaven Hajba who did a lot of the um, popcap soundtracks I guess we're gonna read that one All right. well, I don't think we want to read more of them but so we're forced to just because we keep finding more and more of these uh this way. Uh, do that. Do this. Not exactly a good platter for puzzle games, as you might be able to uh, divine. Hmm. There you go. I mean, I guess just filling up as many rooms as possible is probably the uh, most desirable course of action here. I have to guess, to imagine. Uh, 
shoot. Not that I necessarily expect to be able to do too wonderfully, but we're actually quite close to being able to uh, complete a few of these, I think. Okay, almost. <laughs> Not for a moment, okay, there we go, get another column complete. Now that thing in the middle is gone, I wonder what that would mean. Yes, it might be actually be a good idea to like keep the um, wildcard uh, blocks at least like what we present, present, just because of the fact that uh, I reckon that would be a good thing, just a good thing to have. So you can place more wounds in uh, some place that might otherwise seem inconvenient. Do this column here. Here's the objective. To we were told at the beginning that the objective is just to make all the grey tiles gold, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that much. You can certainly try. It's even like a run where we didn't discard anything, so that's nice. Next rank of Junior Apprentice, so literally missing 8 points for that. Uh, well, hold on a second. I'll do a couple more boards if I can, but let me just quickly check to see how much time we have. We have another 11 and a half minutes, so that's fine. Now let's just hop right back into it. So yeah, this is Alchemy, which we just played. Let's just play the next board. Let's see if we can get 8 more points. Uh, put the other one, I guess. Yeah, the first one you can put wherever you want, but after that it's a little bit more difficult. Put the other one here. Hmm. Can we put this anywhere? Yes, we can. Uh, this one, let's... Let's see... I'm also kind of noticing that you can't, like, uh, tell, like, in Tetris, what 
piece you're gonna get next, so you're kind of uh, going off of Hail Mary face a lot of the time there. I'm just have to getting a few more of these uh, wildcard blocks this time. Mm. I don't know how good of an idea it would be to like try and cluster common stuff together. There we go. Probably a good idea. Like common colors or common shapes, things like that. Probably would be a um, decent strategy. Hmm. Anything else yet that we can use? No. Oh shoot, looks like we have no choice but to use one of the, the wild card spaces. Hmm. And we'll do that put here. Put it there, put it there. Uh, Another wild card one at least. Let's see which of these would be good for it. But something closer to here, the you know parts of the board that we haven't managed to necessarily fill in yet. Mm, I can put something here. I can put this somewhere. I'm sure. Which is where? I guess over here. No, we can put it over here. Uh, I didn't really for me to do that backwards, but you know. This one in the right, it could put it here, but since that is not the case, let's put it here instead. Let's put that there, let's uh, see, we can apparently put that here, yeah, that's like a very lucky match to be able to put that there. And I guess we should probably try to clear this column. Such a crazy concept when you consider that uh, it's apparently all like in the basic mode, but I kinda wish I could put that in this space, but since I apparently can't put it anywhere else, no, I can't put it here, never mind. This, I wish I could put this here, but oh well. It's apparently not gonna work out either. Yeah, sure. Hope I don't have to like discard anything. That would be very inconvenient. I mean, I can just use these pages I've used before. Shouldn't be so risky of doing that. Hey, yeah, Taffer, hey, Verbal. I'm doing like a little demo thing where I play each of these games for. Oh, for fuck's sake. For a certain amount of time, maybe 20 minutes, as counted in the clock that is on screen, but won't update because of the way that. This old games window runs. But I should still be able to hear the sound once 20 minutes are up. Mm. There we go. We're getting there. So much. Like, find a 
clean one of these old symbols. Make that work. Of course, I have no idea if I'm gonna get one of those. Here, can I help? Can I help me put this here and there? Okay. Or just get a wild card, that'll work too. And now we just need what? I don't want to surround this thing even more than I already have, because that's like, I feel like that's causing these problems. So let's just put the rest of these in like, I don't know, a different direction. And of course checking that each one cannot be placed in that same place. I need like either a blue O or a red, uh, like Pisces Gemini thing, whatever that is. And here we need something even more complicated. Actually, should just be able to... Oh, there we go. I managed to get one of those things at least. Just need one more. And put that there. Oh, there we go. Once again, the wild card is. Level complete. Is in fact what comes to my rescue. Level complete. Current ranking is. Well, this time I have more than like eight points left for the next ranking thing, but the question is, would I be able to get there before? Time is up, let's check the time again. As I tab out with the Windows key, we have four minutes left on this game. So let's see what I'm able to do in that time. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to complete another board, but so I'll just uh so what's this strategic thing anyway? What if I go back to like I don't know the menu new game discard? Let's go to the next board, I guess, and see what happens. Let's try speedplay, I guess. I also noticed that I guess some of these things at the top are filling in. Uh, probably shouldn't have put that right in the middle like I did, but... Whatever. Hmm. The places where that can't fit. So it's like a symbol, it's like kind of rare, isn't it? I don't think we've seen another one like it so far. We gotta put this thing here, so I guess we have no choice, but hey, well, you know, we get like a perfect match for that corner space right after that. It's funny how these things work out. You know, we'll go ahead and put the next one in here, get rid of that Omega symbol, and then we need to get another one. Yet, or, or 
or else the clock is off. I guess it just tells you if you can't use it. Never mind. Can't use that. Oh boy, we might be allowed to lose depending on what we uh, how to get. Probably aiming to, you know, actually complete some of these columns, but I've been stupid and not actually aiming to do that. That could be very little clear if I got lucky, but I'm not kind of expecting that to happen. This one can't go anywhere, this one can go somewhere. I'm not entirely convinced that the time hasn't gone out yet, though, never mind, very just. And time is up, but I get a feeling that we might uh, not be able to complete this board without losing, but let's see. So I've come this far, I guess I'll see this board through whatever happens in the end. Okay, I want to like weigh all my options for each and every one of the pieces that I get. Oh, this is like the only place where this one can go. That can go there, this one can go nowhere. This one can go somewhere. Down here? Oh, well, one of the places that I've already used. I can clear one row at least. That's I don't know if that's really going to make anything any easier. Maybe I can complete this board if I get like really lucky and like the RNG with these pieces is actually kind to me. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do, honestly. Okay, where can this go? Here? No. Here? Yeah, I can go here. Uh, where can this one go? I just have to like feel my way around with every single one of these. I did this to myself. I'm put it there and apparently nowhere else. I'm okay. gonna put it here, there we go. I just did a couple, oh boy. I probably would be able to use this intelligently if I knew what I was doing, but I don't know about that. Just delete some of the crap left in the spaces that have um like this one for example. I actually use that here now. No. That are like completely surrounded, so the options of stuff that I can put on there are extremely limited. Yeah, go ahead and put that there. Put it there. In that space, but apparently not all the spaces that I would actually want to fill in. That seems to be a lot more tricky at this point. Hmm. I don't want to surround the space even more, so I think I want to use it here. Like, I have to be like a blue hole with horns for you, or it's a pink omega. I guess we can do that, though. Even if that still very much limits our options as to what we uh, will be able to use for that space again. This is here. At least we got this music to keep us company. Even as the time has run out, but it's like very insistent how good. Like I can just keep going in circles, so. Hmm. Where can I even put this one? Next to this one, yeah. Just like to be more or less the only place in or there. That works too. I feel like I might want to find a place for that, but we skip apparently having to discard stuff every other turn, which is not terribly surprising, but no. Surprised that it's being that uh, lenient in that regard. I'm continuing to let me discard stuff without forcing me to lose in how the process. That would not be a good idea, let's put it here instead of clear that column. Yeah. Alright, we're very, very slowly inching closer to a theoretically possible win condition, you might say. I'm not really gonna make it though. I think I'm actually gonna put another like slight timer extension for myself. I will go back into this window, but this time I will uh, tell it to three minutes just for the sake of not like staying here forever. I'm gonna set that to three minutes and if I manage to 
not beat this within the next three minutes. I'm going to just stop myself. I think that's only fair at this point. Right. I was trying to like speedrun the beginning of this, but that had catastrophic results in the long run. You can kind of tell. I wish I could put that here, but that's not gonna happen. Can't use that one. Can use this one though, but just after I confirm that it can in fact be used. Oh, I think about I just lost. Oh, no, never mind. I think I got one more move before I lose what I'm just talking of. And there it goes. And apparently clearing a column completely clears the horse, which is nice. So they would have you think. Mm, can't use this. Can't use this. Here? Uh, yeah, no. I'm guessing just in the corner here. Yeah. Well, shoot, yeah. I don't know that this is gonna be doable without like a lot of restructuring, which I don't know if I have time to do. Within the limit that I've given myself. Just very subtly kinda of screwed myself at the beginning, I think. We can even put this one over here, yeah. It's probably the only place and we can put this one in a couple of different places, but let's just place it there. Hmm. What pieces could we even put in these remaining spaces, like a, a red or a yellow? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Oh, if we get like a piece that we can't use there, then we just lost our friend, we didn't lose. I didn't just like say screw you, you're it's you've drawn this out for too long, it's time for you to just lose at this point, but that might be uh, happening, oh boy. Don't don't do this to me. Don't make me make it look like I'm actually gonna be able to do something now. Oh we can fill in one more space and that's about it. No, not quite. Oh, we can add one more layer. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Well, it somehow hasn't been three minutes yet, so there's like a illusion of hope here, I would think. Not that there's still three minutes. I can get rid of the stuff in this column, maybe. I think I think it's gonna be pretty tough to just fill in whatever is at the bottom there, but. Again, the question is where can I even put this? Whenever one of these new ones shows up, that doesn't just tell you no, you cannot use this for anything. I guess even then it's like hmm. Are you sure I can use this for anything at all? Instead of just being like a complete fake out false hope situation. Mm. I'm probably a little bit resentful that it just keeps happening. But it just keeps happening. Yeah, I don't know, I think. If it gets me like a series of those, mm, like, uh, another sequence of those things that, like right now, if, if I put this here, I'm just gonna be screwing myself rather than long run by picking another one of those things. Those positions, those situations where I can't uh, really surround something too thoroughly and I can't actually do anything to it. I totally you discard that one. I mean, fuck it, just keep going until you get one of those spot cards and let that be it. So, give me more than Medieval 3, that's like a mix between this game's board clearing and the usual Medieval Match 3. Hmm. Oh, Medieval is on the list of stuff that might pop up here as well. Yeah, no, I I'm gonna take license and be like, no. Current game in progress will be saved, well, if I ever decide to come back to it, but. I don't know if that's gonna happen ever, but yeah. The uh, 
time of that game is kind of what we're doing at this point. So I think I'm just gonna take license and let that be the end of it, but you get the idea. And you heard the like the one main track in that game, so it's fine. Oh, I didn't thought that I stopped this track completely to where it went back to the beginning, but Alright. I don't know how many more of these games I can get that might like take up the the entirety of the um, Uh, the second monitor that I have, the jeweled one, is technically on the list, so <laughs> that comes up. It's gonna be the same kind of story as the... Uh, whatchamacallit, as the game that I just played. But let's see, uh, Alchemy should be off the list, uh, let me make sure that it's off of this list as well. And so it is, so let's see what we got next. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> Yeah, we have Solstice, which I'm guessing based on what I've seen of the version of that's in the chase, it's supposed to be the NES version. Because I do believe that's one of those games that has like a few different versions to go around. Yeah, I can just uh, bring that up now. This controller is still connected. It is not, unsurprisingly. It just waits completely uh, unused for like 20 plus minutes. That's gonna happen, but let's see. So this might be one of those things that I actually did not uh, unpack in preparation for this. Let me just confirm it. It is entirely possible. Yep, Solstice is the quest for the Staff of Demos. I recognize this track from Herbs DS, I think, isn't it? Yeah. It's the Jail Tunnel theme. And apparently also plays in Splicer Island Ruins, which... Well, neither are areas that you would be compelled to stay in, you know, spoiler alert if you play that game. Neither would be areas that you would be compelled to stay in for long periods of time, so you probably wouldn't hear a whole lot of this track, but it's still a pretty good ambient track. Oh yeah, let's see. Let me find Solstice here. Stopwatch I use for practice? Yeah, I think that's the stopwatch that, uh, like, this website has a lot of clock related apps that a lot of people use. I'm guessing it's just like the first thing that shows up usually. Uh, so I would imagine that some people get a lot of use out of that, but yeah. Try it's time for me to quickly play this out so we can hear the. I believe this is like fall-in soundtrack. Oh boy. Let's see if I can move this off then. I guess I have to produce the reason that I had didn't have the freaking Christ. Thing the What do you call it? The monitor completely blown up because it keeps getting in the way of the other sources. That seems to be happening right now. But yeah, this is a game that I am only kind of faintly aware of, and have been aware of for like, uh, I don't know, I feel like the first time I heard about this game was not actually uh, me hearing about this game specifically, but rather the sequel of Equinox, which was uh, something that they talk about on the Flying Amulet website years and years ago. That's a blast from the past. Of course, I never actually played this game, but I suppose that's about to change. So let's see. I mean, I kind of want to just start things off, but at the same time, I don't necessarily want to interrupt this music. So I feel like that's part of it. Music by Timothy Fallen. Better make sure you get the full name right. I don't know, I feel like after we've seen like loop back to the title screen like three times already. It's probably enough. Oh no, it's the intro of Haunted Castle, the Castlevania arcade game, except with or just ghosts and goblins or any number of video games. Except Morbius is taking away someone from Shadax. 
there's a solstice and something something evil, and now we're just here. I understand this, but yeah, let's start the clock. The moment we're gonna make it far enough that it's Morbin time, but... Let's see, okay, so I can jump, I can move... Uh, B doesn't seem to do anything right now. I'm honestly at a... It's gonna be kind of fumbling in the dark, I suspect, for... Most of the time we're gonna be spending here. Okay, apparently these platforms that you can kind of see through I'm also like really not great with isometric perspective, especially with platforming, so... So this is gonna be a trip and a half. Oh, okay. I can do something to the other buttons or something. Yeah, apparently my potions, I have nothing else that I can use. Rooms form completed 78.78%. And apparently that just fluctuates between the uh, two things. So I can apparently pick these things up and like put them down, or at least that like sliced melon looking thing. Mm. So I can like create a stack of stuff for myself to climb on. Okay, I guess I kinda get it. I'm assuming that was the point of those things in that room. <laughs> Not entirely sure, oh boy. I'm gonna do like most of these, but okay, I guess the point of this room is just like climb this as quickly as possible and maybe get the key. Push the key off, doesn't seem like I can pick up the key would be like a good, uh... oh never mind. Just need to like position myself just right. I apparently have a magic key and got an achievement, retro achievement just for getting the key. Oh goodness. And I don't think even if I stand on this thing, I can jump high enough to get there, so I can figure. I have four hats. Oh shit, I just pressed start, and I don't know what that did, but I'm blowing now. I was actually trying to get to the screen, but... Oh, it's this potion, I guess. And yeah, I apparently have four hats. Does that mean that I can... T tailgate these fellows and not get hurt? I don't know if anything different would be happening otherwise. Perhaps I should have acquired instructions, so... Okay, so these transparent platforms are like the, uh... Oh, whoops. Totally did happen that time. Like those platforms in Castlevania where you can touch them for, like, one second before they... Oh, God damn it! For some reason, I just keep expecting this guy to just walk off instead of... Damn it! Looping back around like he does, so oh, shit. I don't know if I have any more hats, so I guess I'll make the entire screen flash again. Or I can just, like, you know, go quickly like I did there and didn't even touch that dude. And it looks like I can probably jump over the slimes or whatever. I'm assuming they will probably hurt me as well. I think I'm probably out of the potion, but I, yeah, I guess you get like two stories of each potion. I'll probably use this potion, same thing. Kind of. Hmm. It really looks like I can even jump onto any of these uh, platforms in this room, so... I don't know how uh, worthwhile of an effort that was. Oh, okay, this guy just, like, immediately did a 180 and retraced the steps. That is not very good for me, but whatever. I can just walk quickly. What if I go this way this time? Oh boy, this looks like it's gonna be fun. I'll give it a go, though. Yeah, I can use false depth perception. Oh, jeez. This is me, like, fumbling around like a drunk in like, old Flash games. Also. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that door existed. I would just come that way if I had thought about that, but... Oops. I visited 13 rooms and completed 3.51% of the game. Oh well. Can go again. And skip the intro at least, so we're right back here, but this time we have all of our stuff. So I think we're objectively in a better position. But yeah. Pretty sure I played like old flash games that use this same kind of isometric perspective and controls, and I was just like as terrible at navigating them as I am with this. I'm kind of curious to see if it's gonna be, if it would be possible at all for me to like make it to the bottom left exit of this room, but 
I don't know. Maybe I should try like a different approach. I'm gonna try the same approach that I did before, which is to just fucking stack things to keep myself. Ah, um... huh, hold on a moment. I well, I bought it after so never mind. But it does seem like uh, you can possibly uh... I get an even higher height boost because it seems like if you jump and then place something in midair, I'm gonna try to do this. I guess if I can. You get like, you spawn like, I don't know, it's weird to describe, but yeah, you can get like extra height that way. I'm assuming that you're supposed to take advantage of this because I don't know how you could have gotten up here in this room, for example, without doing that. Hmm. Uh, hold on. What if I try to grab something from this room? Take it to this room, will it let me do this? No, apparently not. It won't let me place it in this room. Go figure. Oh god, I kinda don't like that room because I always die. But where else can I go? I can take the platforms, I can. go down here. I'm just kind of a. Uh, under the prerogative of I don't know which way to go at this point. Hold on. Oof. Okay. But yeah, we can't actually make it there. I'll try to come up here and... Yeah. I feel like my best hope for trying to make it up onto this platform is like... Doing that, but apparently even that is not enough to get up high enough, so I'm honestly kind of at a loss. Also, hey, Chaco Keki, welcome in. This is Solstice, yeah, we're doing like a little variety stream again where I pick games at random to play for a short period of time. Oof. Oh goodness. Because hopefully I'm gonna be able to like start doing this with some form of regularity again going forward. Still have to like finish that I left unfinished, like uh, Crowd Across and uh, The Risha, which I was actually thinking of playing today, but it got a little too late for me to like. Uh, thinking, yeah, I'm gonna maybe get to the end of this, but maybe not quite. And also Yakuza Zero, that's also uh, very much pending. I guess I'm just gonna leave this room. So I'm being completely unsuccessful in making this jump to the other. Platform. I don't see any other exits from this room, but maybe we can maybe I can try to like jump my way up to this exit up here. Yeah, I can. So this should be top that I haven't been to yet. Oh, a credit. I was wondering why that was like spinning. I guess I was special. I just jump up here, or do I need to like use a special physics trick? I guess I must have to use something else because there's no like objects. Maybe this room. See how come this goblin dude gets to uh, walk on spikes? I'm assuming this will kill me. Oh fuck! Well, these boots are made for jump. What does that mean? I mean, the, the boots are gone. <laughs> I don't know if that's what that was. What was supposed to happen there? What if I jump? Oh shit. <laughs> okay. I guess that treadmill is shaped like a treadmill for a reason. Hold on. I'm actually kind of tempted to just like stop for a moment and uh. Okay, so the boots come back if you leave and come back. That's good. I'm gonna try to make that jump again. I feel like I got very lucky because. As you might uh, be able to divine from the fact that I just keep on repeating it, I'm really not the best with these controls. This game exists but it looks awesome like above average for the NES. I guess I'm playing it next to Yeah, I mean I had heard about this game for a long time, but I never actually got around to playing it. But it's ooh, fuck, okay. <laughs> well, I actually got the boots this time instead of just pushing them off into the uh, into the spikes. Let's see. Of course, uh, if I go into the inventory, I got the keys, I got these potions. The boots don't seem to show up here. 
I guess now I know that you can like select the potion from there and use it to get start. But oh, I guess I can make it up here now. So the boots must have done something. What if it's like uh, okay? I thought I was gonna get another platform. No goodness. So I'm thinking that it does improve your jump a little bit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> really surprised that I managed to make that. One of those cases, I guess, where it really takes a moment, at least for people like me, to get used to these controls, but... You do... Like, uh, I don't know, break them into, so to speak, break yourself into them, I don't know. Gain some degree of familiarity with them at some point. Okay, so I don't think I can make it across this room from where I'm, I am now. Try to go a little bit farther, I guess. Okay, so I'm kind of scared of this room, but I guess I'll have to try it. Hmm. This is kind of the type of game, though, that uh, you go into each room and you go like, okay, how am I gonna do this, it seems. I have to think ahead a little. There you go. Okay, but hold on, what just fell into the spikes there? It was a blue thing, but it doesn't really look like anything I can, uh, like I can move fast enough to grab that, so... Maybe I can use that thing that I just picked up to make the jump over to the top door there, but... I don't know. Mm. I don't think I can make it across here even with boots, uh, especially because I can't go, like, in directions that are not diagonal, so... I guess I'll try this jump instead. I'm also kind of curious to see, like, um... I've come like, okay, I did make it, but because I've come significantly farther now than I did before. A green potion. Is that like a same kind of potion as I, okay, so I guess just get like more extra charges for the green potion that I already have. So let me see, I think I should probably experiment with the potions more as well, because I think this one gives you invincibility, this one like clears the room of enemies. I don't know what these ones do, if they do anything different. Oh, I see where I am now. It's just like a thing for backtracking, but do I want to backtrack, because it seems to me like there's probably more stuff that I have left to do in this direction. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming, I really can't say for sure. Uh, I guess I can try to make one of these jumps, just like a leap of faith, but no. It doesn't seem like you can uh, change direction in meter very effectively. And you can't, like, bring objects from one room to the other, so... So I don't know. Let me try something, just... Because I feel... Oh, oops, I keep running out of options here. Uh, okay, that was the yellow potion. Let me try this potion. If I use this, that apparently does not immunize you to spikes, so that's... Uh, unfortunate. I don't know what the yellow potion does. I guess I could try that in, like, um... A room that has stuff in it. Hmm. Actually, I guess I haven't really explored like this side of the map a whole lot after I got the jumping boots. It doesn't seem like I can make this jump without them, or with them even, without using an object, but... Uh, I already got the stuff from here. I don't... It doesn't really look like there's much of anything to do in this room other than just make the jump. Maybe to just like, uh... I'm not sure what happens if I use the yellow potion in this room. Okay, apparently that freezes the enemies. Do you still take damage from them? Why, yes, you do. Alright, so that was not a very uh, good time to use that. I only have the green potion left to test out now. I have one life left. Zero lives left, actually, just like the one life that I have right now. Kind of wondering if these rooms with like the like unlit braziers or whatever they are. That's what they look like to me anyway. Like what the purposes of those those things are, if there are in fact things that have purposes. Oh yeah, I don't think I could make these jumps before, so I'm probably supposed to go this way. Oh, gee. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. As soon as I saw those things approaching me, I was like, can they climb? And apparently they can. Oh. Mm, okay, that guy does not come all the way over here, so I think I see the idea of... Nope, never mind, he does. I think I'm super dead now. Visited 26 rooms and completed 8.98%.
Well, we are 15 minutes into this game's runs, and we have 5 minutes to go, so... I guess we can try, like, you have one credit per start to continue. Oh, okay, I forgot about that. I guess that does have a purpose, Leila. Oh, just like an invisible thing in the middle of that room. I've been to that room before, but... I'm assuming that uh, because I used the credit to continue, I still have my... Like, all the stuff that I picked up before. Hold on. I'm gonna go this way. I think this is where I went last time. Yes, okay, so I can... Or not, never mind, apparently I don't have the boots anymore because I can't make these jumps like by default, so what was the point of using that credit? Unless it like put me in a room that was right next to something that I was supposed to get before, but... It left me in this room, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, the boots are no longer with me, <laughs> evidently. Pick them up again. You got the credit before the boots. Oh, is that how it remembers it? That seems kind of shitty, I gotta tell you. Oh. And now I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to make the uh, jump again. That's another thing that uh, it feels like you have to know ahead of time if that's how it works. Oh, well, I keep failing to make this jump open. Uh, press the button really hard. The jump button. A. See if you can tell that I'm actually pressing that after I put the thing down, but. But nope. Oh, well, there you go. I think that's. Well, that's a lower percentage, I think, than when I got the game open the first time, but. Uh, let me see what. If I can at least figure out how to get there from the beginning. It was not this room, I guess. I thought that I was able to make, uh, like, spawn objects in this room. Maybe not. Uh, like, what's the first thing that you collect? It's like the magic key, right? At least that's the first thing that I've been collecting in these runs. And that's over here. Uh, so I'm kind of wondering if, like, the actual effect of having this with you is that you come back to this room. Uh, not this room, but... This room here, not this room here, but this room here, uh, yeah. And after you have that key with you, then these things up here. So now I guess I have to actually avoid that thing. Except, can I avoid that thing, or okay. <laughs> you still gotta be there, right? So apparently what you're supposed to do is not even bother picking that thing up until after you have boots. Okay, I'm gonna try to do that and completely fail. Hold on. I'm gonna try to, like, make this jump off of this thing without, like, putting myself in danger, because it doesn't seem like it's working at all when I do put myself in danger. Apparently I have to wait a moment. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. See, what's the point of getting on, like, the treadmill platform there if it's just gonna put you in even more danger? That's something else that I'm wondering. Okay, so if I go this way, I need to tell you where is this... Right. Um, I say right, but... I actually don't know if... Uh, I don't know if I found anything, like, in this direction. But anyway, I got the boots, so... Even though I got, like, less than 90 seconds left of this game... I'm still gonna make another attempt, I guess. Oh, there's another race platform in the corner, but I didn't even... Didn't even realize I was there before. I'll go this way... I'll try this room again. Oh, okay. And something that I noticed about this room too is that, like, the first time that you come in, the skeleton doesn't uh, walk all the way there, but the second time it does. I guess you're supposed to, like... Okay. <laughs> okay, but... Those things could afford to go a little bit higher, I'll say that. Hold on, because it seems like... With this room in particular, like your inch and every move has to be planned out from the moment that you go into the room. Okay, well, I think it just lost again, but. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the next direction you're supposed to go to to actually make progress there, but. Uh, we got like less than 20 seconds left, so I think. Oh, right. <laughs> I have one credit, but it's just gonna put him back here, so it doesn't matter. I was gonna say that we can use the. Uh, 
The last 15 seconds to listen to the title theme again, but that's alright. Let me actually uh, use that time instead to go to the uh, music list that I have. Because yeah, the time's up. And um, go down to where Solstice is. I actually put this on like my practice list. Uh, actively, because I know title, I know main theme, but uh, apparently other track is ending. So let's uh, spoil that for ourselves. Let me check the uh, achievement description too, because I got Green Potion, collect the Green Potion, collect the Magic Boots, even though I got that achievement by pushing the Magic Boots into the spikes uh, the first time, not by actually collecting them. But apparently the ending theme sounds like this. That's the one that I have had a harder time etching into my brain so far, I guess, but... But yeah, there you go. That, this has been uh, a little test of solstice, I guess, so... Uh, and I suppose that I could say, to some extent, that this is a game that I probably would consider going back to if I was, like... had enough uh, interest in it. It does seem like the kind of retro thing that a lot of people know, so it probably would be worth it uh, playing through it just for the experience. But uh, let me quickly bring back the this thing, the iTunes playlist that you can hear while I figure out what game we're going to do next. Uh, why are all your past streams gone? Sorry, I don't know exactly how Twitch works. I don't think they're gone. Uh, I, I mean, there's the archive channel if you like scroll down to the panels below the stream. There's like the archive YouTube channel that I do that I've actually been uh, trying to update more recently with like the last stuff that I did uh, before I went on hiatus. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that uh, because I highlight all my actual recordings here, they should all still be on there. Uh, I think if you like from my channel page, if you pick videos next to my username, it should probably take you to that. I'm not sure, but. Uh, yeah, like, past broadcasts uh, expire after, like, a certain amount of time, but highlights stay forever, so that's been a loophole that I've been using for ages. <laughs> you know, come at me, Twitter, uh, at Twitch, admin, registration, things that that's not okay, because, fuck it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure tons of people are doing that, but, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to come back here so I can figure out how to... Well, if I do window cap, okay, never mind. Window capture does just capture this again because I never changed the window capture settings because they wouldn't really work with, um... With, uh, whatchamacallit, with the alchemy window, so... I can just turn this back on at a moment's notice, so let's see. Just make sure that I already took solstice off of this list as well, and yeah, let's just spin the wheel again and see what we got next. Oh boy. Our next one is Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, which I'm pretty sure is going to be the PlayStation version that I will be trying out, even though I'm reasonably confident that this was also uh, one of those games I got an arcade release. And funnily enough, some of these games that um, are in the chase and are like in this list are games that um, the chase definitely uses the arcade version of them, but I don't think that's necessarily one of the uh, examples. So let me take it off the other list as well. Let me see if it's ready to go, which it probably isn't, so it's gonna take uh, me just a moment to make sure that it is. Yeah, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, here it is. I'm gonna be doing the PlayStation version. Doesn't have tagging, it's annoying. see for ourselves, but I mean one uh, game that I ended up doing in one stream in this style in the past before I went hey, this was uh, Darkstalkers. So I suspect this might be at least a comparable experience. Is Killer 7 on your wheel? Uh, no, because it's, yeah, it's games that I haven't played, well, it's not necessarily games that I haven't played, it's games that I haven't, um, like, demoed on stream at any point either, and uh, but I may have played them at some point in the past, but also it's games that specifically 
have a relatively short project duration uh, that you can potentially finish them in, like, uh, based on the information that I found for each of those games at least. It's like, um, if you go fast you can finish them in like two hours. And it's just like me demoing them so I can figure out if I want to like, um, well pretty much for most of them just to say that I did. And have that precedent of having played them, and played them on stream as well. Uh, but also just to figure out if I want to like continue any of them at any point. I think it's a pretty, pretty handy way of doing that. But yeah, because Killer7 is like uh, on the longer side, uh, relatively speaking, compared to those, it's not on there. But yeah. Uh, let me see, where is Marvel Superheroes? Here it is. This is Metroid Fusion that's playing right now, right? Yeah, it's like the second time you go to the aquatic sector. Play. Oh, wait, what? Hold on, I think I just clicked on something that I didn't mean to. Uh, it's probably made Bread Roach crash because I probably just like told it to play a game with the completely wrong core. So let me get it up again. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even show up in the history, so it just crashed. Let's see here. Marvel Superheroes. Somewhere down here. It's this one, and we're gonna use the correct one, so this one. The one that will probably work anyway. Like, nothing is really guaranteed when it comes to... Uh, to emulating stuff, I think. I have found. Alright, let's see. I'm trying to capture the window again? Okay, there it goes. And apparently this game does not have retro achievements, so at least that's just gonna be like a... random pop-up that's gonna show up. I do get a lot of those, though. Might let me fade out the Metro Fusion track so it doesn't just, like, play over the rest of the stuff. <laughs> you go fast, you can finish them in two hours. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that the stuff that I use for reference isn't uh, by speedrun standards, because that's a different thing entirely. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of games that if you go fast, uh, we can finish them in under that time, even though the projected uh, completion time for like a casual playthrough all got. Damn, that is loud, but. What's the other one that? It is Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Almost seems like this uh, announcer is too enthusiastic for uh, for me. Like all this intensity. Like how long to beat situation? Yeah, that is my uh, point of reference for most of the stuff. Uh, the the numbers that I put under and uh, and for the ones that I couldn't, I tried to find various alternative sources such as like YouTube long plays and what have you. Okay, well, I was ready until. It. Hopefully it went back to that screen, but yeah, this is a PlayStation version. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, yeah, I don't think that's on the chase yet. I think that's like the only one in this series that's probably, well, except for like X-Men by itself, Children of the Atom, I don't know. But I'm not too sure what I'm going to do here. I guess I'm just going to leave all the settings on, uh, on default so you can watch me and get my ass kicked as usual. Battle, battle vs. I guess it's battle. And I should probably be starting the clock soonish. I usually try to start the clock for these um, whenever they like actually gain control and start the game, but uh, I guess we're about to do it. Well, I do see. Um, uh, I think I recognize most of these characters. Not all of them. I think I recognize all of them, actually, never mind. But uh, my side is definitely drawn to one of them a lot more conspicuously than the others. Although character who apparently isn't in Multiverse of Madness, because they don't have the rights to the character's name or something, uh, well, that's what I use, though. Uh, fuck, I don't know. I don't really have any preference for the Street Fighter ones, because I am very um, extremely inexperienced in that series, as you might imagine. Let's try Dalton, the stretchy man. Uh, 
manual easily to get out. I don't really see how manual... Um, I mean, I guess we'll do manual on it, but... How manual is like one of the things, one of the terms that you think of when you try to describe it. I guess we'll do normal speed as well. I try to think of like terms to describe difficulty. Okay, apparently we're doing mirror match with Shuma, but also um, fighting Sakura. And the clock has started. First time we could probably beat Killer 7 on PC in like 13 to 14 hours if they really spill through. Hmm. I guess I might find out at some point. Ouch. But yeah, you know how much I suck at fighting games, and I definitely don't work like any of the uh, combos or special moves for uh, 10 years from, so this is gonna be um, probably a pretty second-hand embarrassment 20 minutes for anyone who is actually combating with them, but that will be how it is. Oh, you know, it, it occurs to me that I... Uh, was completely uh, unaware of which one of these two I was being controlling. I forgot that I was the pink one and not the green one. They do seem to be taking it easy on me so far, though. We'll see that. Okay, apparently, I think this middle punch is the one that makes you go like. Um... Yeah, dude, like the fucking alligator maw attack. It's actually kind of confusing to do a mirror match in this, at least for me. I keep getting freaking disoriented. Yeah, I'm thinking I can tag in the other dude that dealt him, whatever, and probably recover some of that health that I lost. But how do you do that? Probably should be a good idea to try and figure that out. I'm trying to like show the buttons and stuff, but I can't uh, seem to find what I'm looking for. Oh dear. <laughs> this seems to be a good, like, keep away combo. Oh, oh there's like a grab. Hold on. Hopefully, we're gonna get to try and figure out which, uh, like, button combination does the grab. Assuming that it exists, I'm going to make a lot of assumptions because. I guess uh, in the back of my mind I'm going off the knowledge of the one like Marvel type game that I played in the past with kind of a very uh, consistency and that was Skull Wars. Which funnily enough I don't think actually ended up on this list of games that I can try out. Mm -hmm. But even though nothing, I think uh, I technically did play that game on stream at some point in the past and even though it's probably like uh, the only game in this style that I'm remotely skilled at. I guess that circumstance alone would be like a, kind of a deterrent for me to bring it back because I don't think I'm gonna try to like finish every story mode in that game or anything like that. So this game sure sprites with MVC and not sure. I am the eye of the storm to come. I can try one thing. What happens if I just press start during the, um, the actual fight? What will it let me do? Will it let me bring up like a command list or is that to so ask for I pretty much just want to try to figure out how to do the tag in with the other character. Ready. But it seems to me that nope, it doesn't bring up anything. Okay. Okay, so you can do like dash as well. And apparently Shuma does stay low and it does dash. Uh, I don't know if it actually translates to having like a trickier hitbox. I would imagine that that might be like an actual gameplay fact that you take into consideration for some of these characters, but... I don't want to assume I also just now notice that there's like super bars at the bottom, but because I don't have like any of the special moves or anything of the sort. Oh. Just hit my not sure. I'm gonna try buttons and see if there's something about you. Like crazy. Not really crazy, but just like standard ish uh, commands. Uh, like, I don't know, quadruple board or something. 
Don't be quarter circle forward and then I think that's gonna kick. Low kick, I think that's gonna kick. It's a pretty good idea for uh, juggling and whatever. <laughs> Very real possibility that I'll just wipe that like on the second match. Yeah, I'm like this close like, to getting a single KO on the opponent. Which is not really that surprising. Assume that I'm. I guess I will continue. Let's give it one more try. I guess we can switch characters now. What if we switch to. Uh, I don't know. What else can I even try? Well, Steven is in the. Let's try Wolverine this time, I guess. Wolverine and Sword of Street Fighter, like. Uh, Kind of trying to remember which of these characters even have uh, tracks that are in the Can I go back? No. Nope. Apparently, no matter which button you press, there it will just be confirmation. So I picked Turbo. I wonder how what kind of a difference that's going to make. I'm pretty sure Wolverine's theme from this game is the chase. Let's go, Bob. It's one that seems like vaguely like something from. Uh, from Smash Melee, I want to say. At least at the very beginning. <laughs> Oops. Uh, can't just kind of figure out if um, the uh, shoulder buttons do anything different. They do seem to follow the same pattern that I think, but I'm guessing rather is uh, the expected style run, like up from like low punch, high punch, middle punch, to the high punch. I don't know what I just did, but oh shit, okay, apparently I just triggered one of the uh, assists. I have no idea how I did that. Oh, okay, I guess we're in a sword now. We're gonna run into um, what's a Marvel character that works in the series, so I'm still uh, fucking Batman characters, but that's cool. Swamp Thing a Marvel character? It's not quite the same thing though. Seem to be a pretty repetitive style for a but. Oh shit. Apparently I'm not really able to even do like a single uh, round KO on him. I just kinda suck. <laughs> but I guess this is gonna be my uh, prototype trying to try different characters. Yeah, I guess in all of these like final taunt screens it's the other character that isn't all okay. I'm sure that's actually in the chase as well. And well, Sakura, I don't think Sakura was the assist for Hulk in the last one, it was or in the first one, it was Wolverine. So. Let's have Sakura as the assist. I still don't know what Turbo did versus Normal. I guess I'll stick with it. I was pretty sure that Mega Red was a track from this game in the chase as well. Let me see if I can like, check that real quick while this loads. I have Marvel vs. Street Fighter, I do have Theme of Omega Red, so... And Apocalypse. Ready. Oh shit. Uh, I... I'm still just kind of curious to what, um... Figure out what the shoulder buttons do at this point. It seems like it did something very interesting there. But... Yeah. Oh, jeez. That 
she got a shoulder bash thing that goes through the air, she seems to have a bow range here. Seems a little, uh... Well, it does seem to be the thing that you realize when you hold it. It wants to bring him down to a... Um... Oh, jeez. I... Does not, not just immediately do that, but also immediately gets back at all the health that he lost. Oh, uh, that was worth at the beginning of the, uh... That run, so never mind, I think. <laughs> I just had no hopes of getting uh, at least a single round KO in the dash, so... I guess I'm gonna try to just friggin'... Just uh, start over from the beginning after this. So that gives me anything different. Okay, I just did some kind of range attack and I don't know how I did that. Okay, never mind, I got a single round KO for like the first time ever. I mean, it might be helpful in this fight, for example, if I knew how to, like, tag out and get my own health back, but... I don't know how oh, that's even done. So let's watch a taunt, and then I'll just uh, do the reset and see how I go from there. Oops. Don't care about the fight on the RP, no, hey, Green was the, uh, uh, the enemy assist for that fight again, but yeah. I guess I'll just really let this run out, I don't even have to reset. Just... Uh, be completely impassive during this screen. I said impassive, but I'm pretty sure that's not actually uh, what I meant. There's my passive. It's not the same meaning. It's like people who say, um, oh, I'm first, though. I'll just be good old A. It's a cap, not A. What gives? Oh yeah, it's like people say irregardless when they actually mean regardless and assume that it means the same thing, but it actually doesn't. Except now I'm the one doing it. Cap, John, XG8, and Tau. I mean, sure, the cap is not like what it um, just replaced my effort with. Uh, is he gonna go back to the attract mode with the very enthusiastic announcer? Are you ready? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, one thing I do want to check out is what is hero battle? Is it just like a single one on one match as opposed to like a, an arcade ladder kind of thing? Maybe, possibly, perhaps, ostensibly, potentially, Marvel superheroes or Street Fighter. I guess Marvel superheroes, I don't know. Oh, there you go. Hulk, Wayne, Shimmer, well, apparently Hulk is OP if I had less the series of attempts in the indication. We'll try Cyclops. Captain America, Hulk, Wolverine, Cyclops, and I mean, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really matter who we pick for the assist if I don't even know how to, um, how to tag them in. Manual is a beginner. I don't know if manual is like technically easier than the rest of these, or I mean, it's. I would think that beginner is easier than PC, but I'm just going to stick with it. I should probably check the controls, I'll do that, uh, assuming that I'm gonna lose this. Let's go back to the main menu and see if I can actually get some, uh, Come and get me. some guidance there. And probably try to do that, uh, if I get, like, any more, uh, any more, uh, more fighting games in this rotation. Yes, I'm pretty sure we got, like, all the fighting games in this kind of, a uh, family. That I can access easily at least. So, Marvel Super Heroes and um, MC1 and 2 are on there as well. And also some like Capcom vs. SMG2. I would have put 3 on there, but I don't actually have like, as convenient access to that one. So. And the same goes for MP. I was actually looking at the Steam Sale earlier today and I looked at a bunch of the Fighting games that are in the chase that are now available in Steam. And surprisingly, uh, quite a few of them are actually kind of cheap, like. Final oh, I can. But, like, I'm pretty sure that I saw Killer Instinct 2013 on there, and it was like, um. less than the equivalent of about $4. But I don't think I ended up actually getting any of them for the simple reason that. Can I leave? Well, I can apparently press select. 
Uh, but no, apparently anything I pick. I guess it's gonna be Captain America and Hulk this time. Oh dear, I pretty much didn't end up getting any of them, because uh, I don't think any of them quite ended up being down at the, uh, like, actual stupidly cheap level, which is pretty much uh, the reason that I did see some games in that level is the reason that I managed to um, get like some of them. Like the other game, the two games that I haven't seen at this point. Wait, what? Did they kept like the damage from the previous match? Is that supposed to happen? I guess there's only one way out of here, it's like uh, I might have uh, some kind of episode from the 90s show where it's like, if you die in the game, you die in real life, but that's the only way to escape the game is to beat the game. Except I could just press the reset button so it doesn't really uh, serve so probably could have done to it. Yeah, sure. cheapest uh, fighting games I saw on the sale, uh, at least after I got that, was... Like, uh, no people are vectors again, now it's uh, King of Fighter 14, King of Fighters 13, which I almost uh, got actually, I uh, realized that, you know, I'm probably not actually going to be playing this by myself. So even though I got uh, those super cheap old Guilty Gear games from, like, the first place we were that way, and uh, it was a bit of a fun I just by sheer coincidence to press on one of the, uh, the Humble Man 3 bundles. I haven't really done a whole lot with those games by myself, so... Okay, if I just put... I think I'm just gonna reset. <laughs> Screw it. Let me see if I can find my own way back to the end. Just speed this along a little bit, because we are on the clock. Uh, to the main menu, so I can... Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and look at the controls and maybe give myself a little bit more of a survivability for the next three minutes. Option key config. I guess key config. Okay, I'll punch and punch. It's just the same thing that I thought it was already, so L1 and L2 are apparently uh, punch times three and kick times three. I don't really see the purpose of that. And that didn't really tell me, like, the main thing that I wanted to find out, which was how do you tag in your partner, so... Oh well. We'll do one more um, run of battle, I guess, with more characters. Um, pick... Uh, well, the primary character this time, and also... Uh, let's try reuse the... Taking the right character for you know, all the difference that's gonna make. Moving we'll Omega Red and, and Bison this time, I guess. I am very expectant. So, do we hear a theme of Omega Red for this too? Yeah, but sure that's what this is. I'm thinking, uh, I don't know how, how weird or unusual this is going to sound like. I feel like the point of reference that I'm feeling for Blackheart so far is the uh, first type of character. He is like, slow, but uh, gets hard. And I think the only other fighting game that I can think of for... Uh, I can easily reference a character like that would be freaking in the city of Final Fantasy where Hex Death controls like that. Speaking of which, I actually managed to uh, finish Final Fantasy V for the first time ever, pretty recently. I don't know what's a game that I started playing by myself like five years ago or something. And I restarted it a bunch of times. Zeph is like one of the big main characters in the series, so it's not particularly uh, surprising. I would say that I ended up remembering that. And even the way that Blackheart seems to like dash around, just like disappear into a thing in the ground and re emerge. It reminds me of how uh, the X Death dash moves, because the normal movement for X Death is just like he walks around very, very slowly. But, like the warden to actually move around quickly. Can I... 
Yeah, I don't think uh, the particularly slow movement is doing me any favors in trying to move. Trying to survive on actually uh prevail here. Oh shit. All the time is up, so I would have missed my chance. I am pretty sure you guys are just fucked with me getting the double move out. I was just kind of curious as to how the, um, as to whether or not I was going to be able to get the single knockout on the opponent at that time, but apparently it was not to be. Well, let's look at the taunt and let that be the our setup for this game. I'm going to make the old country into greatness, so I need to destroy the weapon X. I did hear that. And every combo starts to move, hits the opponent, enter, up to chase him and execute a combo. I think I'm going to remember these tips, especially since uh, I do seem to be at the end of this, okay. I am fifth this time, so I don't know. I'll try a different uh, name to see if it doesn't override at that time. Yeah. So are, are we actually going to see Ba this time in the, in the ranking list? I guess it just defaulted over to um, Cap when I did just like all three A's. So look at that real quick. <laughs> the first one apparently is John this time, so he doesn't even actually save the previous one. <laughs> that's perfectly yeah. That's perfectly justified, I would say, but yeah. Uh, oh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. But yeah, apparently this, I'm not sure if that actually is the case, or if the uh, core didn't uh, just fail to detect it, but I guess I can check real quick. Apparently this game in particular did not have a um, retro achievement, or at least this version of the game. I'm gonna check. PlayStation. Marvel vs. Capcom, yeah. Apparently Marvel vs. Capcom 1 has those, but this one doesn't. Oh, there we are, that was Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, the PS1 version, which I'm pretty sure uh, that was in fact a match for the music of that MJ, so that's... Uh, that definitely fits my purposes. Let's see if we can do a few more of these uh, before I call the things. I'm gonna bring back the wheels, and make sure that Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter is done from the other list, which it is, so let's spin the wheel again. We have got World's Quest. It's actually a game that I played by myself uh, rather unsurprisingly so. A long time ago. Uh, because I. I'm pretty sure I only played the Gargoyles Quest games after I played Demon's Crest, because I actually quite like Demon's, Demon's Crest, and I was actually aware of that. Um, I'm pretty sure I first became aware of Demon's Crest a long time ago, because I saw like a retro piece on it in a magazine back in the day. Even if I didn't get to actually play it on, um, like by myself. Until years later. But when I did, I definitely liked it, so I checked out Gargoyle's Quest on it too, but they're definitely pretty different uh, sorts of games compared to Demon's Crest. And that's pretty much why I made a note for Gargoyle's Quest on my Chase Games document that pretty much says I could possibly at one point uh, finish this game on the stream, but if I were to do that I would definitely be cheating. I don't think I, even I have the patience to complete that game in, uh, like without doing that. And I say this as somebody who completed Demon's Quest on the stream in like a single stream without doing anything like that because that game is a lot easier to get through if you know what you're doing but I don't know if you can ever really say the same about about Gargoyle's Quest which I'm about to load up here let's see I think this one should work oh boy can you can hear the um the Shomimura soundtrack coming through already Destroyers came from a neighboring universe, the creatures of the Ghoul Realm were no match for the powerful destroyers then. When everyone had given up hope, great fires swept over the world, wiping out the destroyer's army. But that all happened in the past. So 
several hundred years have passed and the realm is threatened once again. Looks like we didn't learn from the first time. Oh well. Alex Hyvold's quest goes in Goblins, of course. We've got like a password save, which I guess means that I could just uh, just use that to um, like make my way through the game. An unknown army attacked, but here we are Firebrand. Red armor from Ghosts and Goblins. And this is the first game in which I'm pretty sure uh, he got his own starring and characterization. Are we going close to the Dimension Portal before they get there? So, yeah, to get these, uh, these stages. Uh, I'm pretty sure this beginning one at least. Uh, Actually, never mind, I was about to say, well, we hear the theme which is pretty much high parody kind of uh, riff if anything else. Or if nothing else, the first level theme from uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, but there's also a few things about these games in particular that kind of get repressed in, um, in Demon's Quest. Just the entire gameplay of... this is actually a little bit loud, but I'm turn it down at least for myself. Why don't we imagine that it's fine on the stream, I might have turned down a little bit there too. Temperature is done away with completely in Demon's Quest. You can just stay away, like, stay hovering in the air uh, for as long as you want in Demon's Quest, but the only difference or the only important factor to take into account there is that you can't raise your altitude. At least not until you get the right uh, power ups to do that. At which point you, in fact, can do that. You also got, like, these enemies to, like, go. Fuck. I was afraid that was gonna happen. Friggin' Betsheet Ghost uh, Demons. Which actually end up uh, appearing again in the first stage of Demon's Quest. And a few other things, but other than that, for the most part, I'm pretty sure this, um, and the way this game is presented at the beginning is uh, pretty unique relative to, say, just the Ghost and Goblin stuff in general. I think that I'm doing quite well here, but I'm pretty sure that's just because I have uh, a bit of a uh, memory of how this first stage works, and I just like try to be as careful as possible, because this game does not fuck around, especially when you get a couple more stages in. I'm pretty sure I would try to uh, streamline that cheating experience a bit more instead of doing that. Just do like, I don't know, whatever cheating device was for um, having a different Game Boy, which was the only MGD for Game Boy prompt was. Actually, I really wouldn't actually know that from first hand experience because I never had any of those in actual hardware, but. Definitely have, um. Maybe good use of stuff like that in emulated hardware. Every so often. Okay, you can kind of tell the, the pace of the game at this point. It's just like, be very, very careful because I'm pretty sure that a kind of mistake will fuck you over. You only have two hits. I'm actually pretty surprised that I kind of managed to, uh, that I managed to come this far without dying so far, but I can grow up to like, yep. Fight, so let's see how I do here. First to survive. You can't like get rid of it. Oh, I think I'm gonna die here because there's no way that I'm gonna avoid that. Oh, never mind, I can't avoid it. <laughs> Pretty lucky there, it's like video game water where you just have to like keep jumping upward. Okay, where did this fucking go? There he is. Gotta come down here, yes, yes. 
just need the, to be very, very nimble with your moves. Be a real pro gamer. So you're gonna go that way? Okay, never mind, I guess you might just kill him. You know, I talk all these stuff about how difficult the game is, and then I managed to like, get through the first level without getting a game over. Which I don't think I was expecting. I'll have the Nightmare Fish, wait, but I even get an achievement for that? Let me guess, it's like, I'm gonna check that real quick. It's like, beat that boss without um, losing a life or something. Kill... I can't, I can't really read that on the uh, window, because it actually got... No, never mind, it's just kill that boss. I just never actually did that on these... Uh, on RetroArch before. <laughs> Go figure. Pass through the dimension pool and reach the Guru Realm, even though I was pretty sure that I actually got farther than that. I got to at least the second level when everybody. Uh, I played this game last, which was probably at some point after it. Oh shit, I got submitted to the chase. Basically, get like random encounters. I used to forget about how this worked, but you get like random encounters in the overworld, like in Solitude, except. Uh, you can't actually see them, like in Solitude. <laughs> I kind of an interesting mix of gameplay styles. You go from, well, just like in Solitude, you go from a, like a side scrolling platformer action stage kind of deal to a top down all over the game. I think you can get a few other things that also make similar to Solitude, like items to manage and whatnot. It's been quite a long time since I actually went through this and got all the particulars, but. Sure, that's right. That's a pretty apt uh, comparison. Well, you can actually see these guys, but I don't know if they're good or not. You can talk to them. Who oh, are you? You're not leaving here. Okay, no, I guess they're, they're as bad as they're good ones that they're seeing the action stages. Well, I am leaving here, but you won't be around to witness it as it happens. Oh, shit. Okay, so that was actually a, a bad move. Far platform without, uh, like, ahead of time of those guys. We have two vials at times, so can we use a vial? We have nothing to use. We, uh, I guess, I think we get levels as well. We have level one jumping, wing life. I don't think we raise up an experience or anything, though. It's like, um, like Metroidvania, Metroidvania type upgrades that you use to raise those. Because I guess you could very, very, very uh, tangentially argue that that's probably the sort of game this is. And check, like in Dragon Quest. A series that, coincidentally, I have been playing by myself um, recently. I'm going to some houses here for the first time, even though I only managed to finish the first Dragon Quest game so far, and also... Uh, I feel like the only other game of those that I have played that I would actually consider playing to the end would be 4. But who knows if that will happen. So it's from somewhere in the realm, the wounded can be healed. Oh, I don't know if I'm wounded right now. But if I get my health back after I leave the action stage, with the talisman of the cyclone, a damaged body can be revived. I'm assuming that means extra lives, or some equivalent. I don't quite remember. And we made it. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking to you after I get to that point. Yeah, this is very Dragon Quest, this, like, speaking and checking system. I thought it was being defeated, somehow I revived our hiding here. Not because we were all revived, we were in, like, the zombie state, I guess. This is the room of the Baron Jark, right? I guess that must be Jark over there. It looks, uh, what's here on the ground? Just lying on the ground, I guess that's what they look like. Looks like uh, one of the final bosses, actually the final boss from the Ghosts and Goblins. This Astaroth, though. I think I can't help you without my remnant stick. My powers are very limited. If only I had it back. Well, I don't have it, so... I'll give you a gift if you agree to find it for me. I'm not sure. Please. You know, speaking of Dragon Quest, that's a plot, that was kind of situation. 
the fingernail of the specter. Oh, I guess we get a, an extra weapon, perhaps? Become a plumber. <laughs> when you have it, you will become light and be able to fly for longer. Fly higher. Hmm. What? So we got, like, more jump power? Let me check my level again. Jump wing? Okay, so jump and wing power are, in fact, different. So I'm guessing that means that actually means we can jump higher and not stay in the air now. Attack the Baron Junk Rust the Gremlin Stick, given him by King Darkhorn, or Darkhorn, I don't know. Maybe it's a portmanteau of Dark and Cohen is in the, um, like, poetic saying kind of thing. Junk is giving a good second sight, though. Well, I would have talked to him and, uh, there's a bit more impacted with how he was apparently gifted to the crap that he can give me to raise my levels. Since it lies for one talisman of the cyclone, where? Oh, here. Okay, I mean, sure. More than that would be greedy. Do we not have 8 vials? Am I crazy? We have 11 vials. Uh, maybe we did get them. We have 2 talismans. Yeah, maybe we did actually exchange it. And that was the message that we got, even though it was kind of a non sequitur. So what does this guy have to say? Black light. Even a resurrection spell can't help if you are touched by his darkness. I thought that black light was a plot point in the second one of these games, because they actually came out with two of them before Demon's Quest was playing. It was this one and then the second one, which was an NES. The resurrection spell. Oh, this is like the password screen. <laughs> I'll tell you the words of the spell. Never forget them. Well, I guess I'll try to make a note of that when my time runs out for this, but I'm actually kind of curious if I leave this place and I oops, go back the other direction. And uh, maybe try to make it... Oh, shit. Well, those things are like um, the bone dragon, the bone pillars from Castlevania. Is that not it? Okay, there we go. I'm kind of curious as to what, we'll, what I will find if I go back and talk to the other dude who's blocking the way over there. So I'm thinking that you probably are supposed to go to that town first. Who are you? You are not leaving here, so t these bedsheet ghosts are just... Uh, I'm just posted and blocking the road, I guess. Even though this is probably me. Yeah, I think we are, in fact... I think they're like the double each other now. And I feel like I left three thoughts or something like that unfinished there, but that'll happen. Two miles, right? Hmm. So just lead back to where we were. I mean, these things are not. These encounters are not like indifferent from the other. Rather, the encounters that we get by talking to those guys that are posted in the overworld are not indifferent from that. The ones that we get just by walking around randomly, so... I sound like that's particularly challenging. Tamed Mind Vial. I mean, we haven't needed any of these talismans so far, but I was actually kind of wondering if this was going to lead back to the same place that I was in uh, before, but maybe not. I wonder if Castlevania will be the adventure or whatever. Uh, I would say that would give me an excuse to uh, put it on here as well, but I would imply that I haven't already done that a long time ago when I played like pretty much every single Castlevania game on the stream. Now I think this literally just leads back to where I was, so it's just like more padding. So I'm gonna think we would have to go past the town. I I don't want to lose health, but it does seem like your health gets replenished every time that you get out of one of these action scenes, so... Guess it doesn't matter all that much, after all. Let's just go back to the town. Let's not take the long road either.
it going. Take out the screen so we can just bump into each other at the same time. I can just do this. I'm gonna practice motion. This makes me want to say something along the lines of, like, um, I kind of want to play Cell 2 again, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like this game and Cell 2 both have the same problem, which is that they start out kind of um, mild, but they get, like, stupidly hard later on, and it doesn't really take that long for uh, those games to get to that point. Our attackers went east. Well, I mean, the town's right there, dude. You can just go and find shelter there. Get a, an action scene on the bridge, I guess. Ooh, okay, <laughs> just sure if I was gonna be able to grab on there. I'm gonna take a step on these platforms. Just like in Source, this uh, that seems to be a running theme with the uh, stuff that I've demoed so far. Got these. Castlevania-ish platforms where you can only step on them for a moment before they start falling down. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I can breathe, and I guess I never actually got this far in the uh, in the retro arch simulator because I'm just getting like these arbitrary achievements just now. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? I I died to one of those uh, projectiles. Okay. You consumed one essence of the cell stream. Your body is healed. I guess we have one less talisman now. Fingernail. Yeah, we have one less talisman now. We should probably set about more of those if we wanted to uh, be more cautious. But it's too late now. And we have like three more minutes left for this game anyway, so. I'm actually kind of curious if we can get to like the sand maze, which is like the really bizarrely really difficult. Uh, But I guess we can't go to the Palace of Darkon because that guy's in the way. Gremlin Stick, you are a stupid henchman of a baron. I seal that stick away in the big tower monster. Big tower monster. So there's a big monster that is also a tower. Is it like the Tower Knight from Demon's Souls? Even though that guy's not literally a tower. He just has a big tower shield. And it's also towering, but that's, uh... Oh, there seems to be a big tower down there, so maybe, uh... Oh shit, oh fuck, <laughs> I forgot. We actually really need to be careful to not get hit by those things. Can I at least make it to that tower down there? Because I don't think I have any more, um, talismans to... to bail me out. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think this tower is, like, the point where the game actually gets to, uh... No good fucking luck beating this without help. What is that dude with the, um, the freaking betchy growth? Like, the same type that keeps showing up. So, helpfully told us, I'm not sure this is where the next thing that you're supposed to find to advance the plot is. Oh god. Oh fuck it. I don't think you can destroy those eye things. They're just kind of. the uh, a nuisance. These plant fingers that explode into projectiles that shoot off diagonally, they seem harmless enough now, I'm pretty sure. They get to really close levels uh, later on, like right there. It can be if you're not prepared. So I think it, like for example in this uh, position, it's straight up in your best interest to not uh, fuck with them too much, but you yeah, don't really have a choice if you want to. Up higher here. Never mind. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> the sight of that thing is bringing me some flashbacks. Here we go. 
gosh, how do you... I think you have to... Well, I want that thing, but I don't want it bad enough. Maybe I only get like, less than 30 seconds left. I want it bad enough through it. All the way back down for the sake of getting it. Can I get through, like, the first screen in this... area? Even though the time is up. Oh boy, I think that plant up there is too hell, so... Really, really surprised that I have managed to do so well on this screen so far because I was really dreading this. Well, this is gonna be pretty difficult at least. Can... Uh, oh gosh, <laughs> all the freaking objects and how they stack together. Oh, okay. one more hit, I'm dead. When I die, I'm pretty sure that's. There, there it is. <laughs> that's gonna be my cutoff point, but yeah, time is. I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, never mind. It doesn't send you all the way back. That's surprising. I was like, I'm pretty sure to add insult to injury, that just sends you all the way back immediately. Oh, I just went backwards there. Uh. I'll do one more try just to be consistent. I'll reset the clock then. Yeah, me too. Hey, Dark Blade. Huh? What's going on? Have you been? I've been. Fuck, I'm gonna die here, but. I've been alright. I've been tidy at me, but. Waiting for it to happen. Been uh, kind of swamped up with other things with or for quite a long while, which is why I haven't been streaming. But we can finally get the point where it's not unreasonable to try and do that again with some form of familiarity. Yeah, I'm really surprised I managed to get through those platforms easily before, but there you go. And it sends you all the way back to the. I think the town. Resurrection spell will be back in the realm, and you can get the, bars, the password from this guy. So I might as well just get a, a capture of the password, why not? There you go. Even gonna take a screenshot, but yeah, I think I'll do it for Gargoyle's Quest. Let's see if I can do like one or two more games before I wrap things up here. But yeah, I hope you've been well as, as well. Uh, Dark Leaf. Let me see, so... But yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm going through... I'm probably not for very much longer, but I am in fact going through a series of... Short-ish short -ish games that I can demo. So yeah, I would definitely consider playing through Gargoyle's Quest, but I would have to be uh, using uh, some kind of Infinite Life's cheat or something. And maybe even more than that, depending on how some of the stages behaved, but uh, let's see what the next game is going to be. Maybe we'll do one or two more tonight. It is going to be... Star Fox. Okay. Game that I'm pretty sure is quite kindred to so many others in this list in that I'm pretty sure I did technically try it out at least once in the past, but I also suck at it. There we go. What song is this? This is Vestigal Dream. I don't know if you're supposed to say Vestigal Dream or Vestigal Dream. It's apparently Valkyrie Profile. God. I see it's apparently Valkyrie Profile, as if I was not familiar with that game, but I literally submitted it for the chase and I wish we could play through that whole game at least one mode of it on uh, the stream. I feel like I don't remember the context for a lot of what, uh, what the soundtrack is. Well, let me see, we're going to load up um, Star Fox. Let me just check to see if it's ready. It is not ready. No shock. This. And now it should be ready. You know, Star Fox is the next game that I'm supposed to be playing, and this song starts up. I'm like, why do I hear boss music? Uh, let's see. Speaking of that, mm, let me go ahead and get the game on screen. Here we go. And fade out the track. And also bring the volume back up for. Uh, for the emulator here. Just playing like the uh, super 
I pitched. Game Boy stuff anymore. And bring the volume up for myself as well a little bit. Alright, I guess that was the demo for that game. I'm going to push start, as a matter of fact. We do control A. Or not, hold on, I'll push select to change it. Roll boost, number bomb, blaster break, apparently roll is always going to be the shoulder buttons. Boost will always be X, number bomb will always be A. And blaster can be this, and break can be this. Sure. Change view, as opposed to what? Up, down, down, up. Wait, what? I think we're gonna go with this. I do want up to be up and down to be down. Alright. Uh, well, let's, let's go into the game, I guess. I don't need training, even though I already know that I'm gonna probably suck at this game. Level 1, level 2, level 3, I guess we'll stick to level 1. Not that I necessarily am up there with. Uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. I, just, I see that now you're like picking which route you want to go. We start at Coronaria. We can go to Sector X, Asteroid, or Asteroid, which will lead to Space Armada or Fortuna. Let's go hmm, level 1, I guess. The default one is the one that goes through the middle. Let's pick that one. Um, whenever the level actually shows, I have to start the clock. The base. Star Fox Team, our last resort, is to counterattack Venom. Well, I haven't been playing any of the Spider-Man beat-em-ups today, but... Good luck! Let's do it. Good luck. Scramble is a good track from Neo Tui. Alright, let's run the clock. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's see, so this is the blaster here. I guess you have to, you can't hold it down, you have to, you have to spam it. I'm assuming uh, all of these flashy things are things that you're supposed to... Uh... Ooh, okay. uh. I do the right horse ship. I'm assuming that you probably want to fight with these gates, but I'm not really sure. Of course, trying to fly through the gates can uh, Leaves you in a position where you're flying through a pretty, the other pretty limited range of places it can be in. I don't know. Should I be shooting down everything? I feel like I probably should be trying to not shoot whoever uh, I perceive as being like my ally. But okay, whenever you see that dialogue on the screen, it'll be like. I assume that one of your allies is on the screen. <laughs> I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not, but I do seem to at least get the idea so far. Let's do shooting stuff. And to be very, very confused as to where you're aiming because there's no like radical or anything like that. Oh shit, okay. I just really meaning to uh, crash into that, but sometimes it's difficult to control things. At least for me. Ooh, oh fuck, how geez. I'm assuming that I could have just crashed right into that thing. But that was unlucky. Oh, and apparently I can get shield back by flying through some of these rings. Oh fuck, Jesus. Okay, so those things, do those things collapse even if you don't shoot them? It seems that way, oh shit. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Help you out, fuck. If only you could. Do something like that for me, or maybe replenish my shield. Well, I did get a shield replenishment. I wonder if that was like a. That showed up as a direct consequence of um, doing the save there or not. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh boy, what do we got? Incoming enemy. All the voices that are actually, uh, <laughs> you know, audible here they seem like they're a little bit more. Um, a little bit less uh, loud, you know, a little bit quieter than the other ones. So it makes them a little bit uh, 
harder to tell what it is they're saying. I think I get the idea to just shoot anything that's glowing or try to light it up. But I can hear the music here sounds very familiar to something else. That's it seems familiar to uh, obviously the Final Boss theme for a moment, but I've actually a tiny bit at least one part of it. Oh shit. No, if I'm not mistaken, I think well, uh, I was gonna say how do you make was the one who was hunted for this game, but I think that was uh, that must be Star Fox 64 that I'm thinking of. I don't know if the appeal to this game. Might have. Obviously, Final Fantasy was a woman, that, so. Alright, I managed to get a like a bitch on the first level. I guess I might as well check that real quick. Shield of teammates is. Uh, well, did much better than our shield did. It's probably gonna get counted in the score. Go to the Star Fox soundtrack that I should have on here. Just real quick. It's apparently Hajime Hirasawa, not Wakai, who did this soundtrack. So we're going to Asteroid next. Asteroid Belt. Andros's forces intend to build a base in this area. Destroy the Rock Crusher. Good luck! And do so with good luck. Ugh. Oh shit, I can press the wrong button to uh... To shoot. I wonder if I can change my perspective at all, because I don't know. It seems a little bit difficult to dodge uh, like incoming projectiles when you have this perspective, at least I'm concerned. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so you can only blow up the red ones, it seems. I lost the field. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, how about helping me out now? Uh, Peppy, I think that's... Yeah, that's what it is. I know Star Fox characters in the... The only Star Fox game that I am familiar with in any capacity. But I will make that claim that I really know about this game, but these Star Fox Adventures are pretty much all of them only appear, except for Fox himself, and they appear very, very sporadically. happened, but apparently I got an achievement for possibly, oh, <laughs> possibly shooting Peppy by mistake and then shooting uh, the one that Peppy was targeting. I have to read the achievement description just once I'm done with this. Yeah. Oh fuck, oh jeez. I'm really surprised that I haven't uh, taken any more damage than I already have, but that do be the case for... A lot of how this game is going so far, not just this stage. You know, I'll leave a comment about how I don't know anything about most of the games that I have on this list. And even the ones that I do like are Ghost Quest Away. Well, let's see, let's see. But I was able to avoid that, uh, that freaking asteroid in my face, but that's because I was focused on helping sleeping. You know how you feel about that? I thought I had to fucking bleed myself for your sake. So it does seem like you have a bit of a burst shooter right now. You don't have to like spam it constantly. Well, you do have to spam it constantly on the shield screen, but you just hold it down once. Apparently, it shoots three times in a row. Oh, jeez. I mean, I can't destroy those things. Which is pretty inconvenient when apparently they show up right before a boss battle. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm assuming that this is the uh, intended frame rate for the game as well, not like. Uh, like some kind of bizarre hardware failure on my end. It just looks like this, oh jeez. 
Let's see how um, a whole lot that I could be doing to me. Damage here, either. I gotta be honest with you. It's gonna tank so many shots, or else you're not gonna be able to. Perfect. To do too well for yourself in uh, doing damage. Have I survived, or perhaps there's still a little bit of danger left? No, I think I survived. So I don't uh, get like persistent shield from one stage to the next, though surely I was paying attention to that before, but <laughs> just flew right through an asteroid there and it didn't do anything, so yeah. 90% score. There you go. Armada next. Oh. The Andros Space Armada. Okay, so that's not our Space Armada. Consists of powerful battleships destroying their energy cores. Do the Death Star meme. Okay, so I don't get my shield back. Seems like we're apparently in the middle of the enemy's room, I just should have stamped in the moves. It's gonna be my priority right now, but I think that hasn't already been the case for pretty much the entirety of the game, but just making an exception whenever uh, we get like friendly chatter on screen. Soon that they're involved somehow, at least. I saw like a whole bunch of just fucking fire spray coming from behind one of those, so back in objects. Oh shit. Like right now. Look at all that spray. You know, I somehow managed to not get hit by any of it. It makes you wonder if this is for sure, but. I probably wouldn't go so far as to imagine that. Um, that's a safe assumption to make. I'm assuming you just shoot the glow a bit of all the uh, large objects in that. Oh shit. Okay, that time I actually got hit. That's different. That's. What you should be aiming for in more ways than one. You know, double metaphor there. No double meaning. One of them is metaphorical and the other one is literal. But they're both valid. <laughs> Only the story done in Cuthbert told on Star Fox showed in Tanaka like they without the effects and chip on maybe Super Nintendo hardware. Drawing one FPS to show them why the effects chip was needed. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, shit, I'm in control. I didn't even realize. Nope. Nope. Well, this is interesting. I don't know what I just picked up, but... Looks like... I did, in fact, just do, uh, like a Death Star run kind of thing, but... I'm gonna... Oh, shit, that's Sleepy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna shoot Sleepy, but... I'd like to assume that he responded to his like distress thingy that he was doing effectively. I mean, in the, I say Death Star ground thingy, but you know, the actual movie, actual Star Wars, you don't actually get into Death Star. You just mentally guide the shots in. And I'm pretty sure there's a uh, number of related media where they actually do do that. Oh boy, here we go. God, I have to do that again. Like, like, for example, with Shadows of the Empire, the ending of that you had to go fuck it. I'm guessing I had to shoot that and I just didn't realize. But yeah, the ending of Shadows of the Empire, you actually had to go into the uh, fucking evil structure at the end to shut it down. Oh shit, these are bombs, which I haven't been using at all, incidentally. Yeah, definitely in need of some extra shield. These things already, so you're not gonna tell me we have to hold it for not with the shield that we have left at this point. Hold on. Two 
look how much of this game you can see in less than 20 minutes. Let this be a nice demonstration, especially when you, you know, take into account that it's being played by a complete stranger to the game over. <laughs> right, I'll be disgusted with that. Or is it uh, like the final evil run that we're gonna have to do? It might be either at this point, I don't know what to expect. It looks uh, like the structure looks a little. No, it's the final evil run, right? It looks a little bit like the, uh, the opening of freaking. Oh, no, Doctor Who Trial of the Time Lord. A reference that I'm sure a lot of people you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, wow, oh, they actually make this really impressive. Uh, Model shot in a show known for having kind of terrible special effects at the time. At least we do got a few of these shield uh, shield recharges in the middle of this, and I cannot shoot anymore, it seems so. It's maybe if like all the way in here and then you're gonna. Yeah, I'm not in control right now. Get a boss fight while they're inside here, in place of just going through. I'm guessing. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, what if I use a bomb now? Hopefully, I didn't just use that like too early and waste it. That's entirely possible. I think right now my main objective is to okay, yeah. destroy these things that are. Like projecting the electricity without actually getting hit by the electricity. Oh shit, also these defense thingies maybe? Just avoid them. That we've uh, automatically won, and uh, I don't need to make, have, like, navigate my way out of here because I'm probably gonna die if that's the case. And apparently, I got my wish. There we go. Also one of those games I played uh, back in the day and just like saves coming my way through. But I did manage to do that and also retain absolutely no memory of it, so let's go to Meteor. Barbies Meteor. Be sure to use your retros if you're going too fast. Be careful with my R wings. I've kind of been forgetting completely that I was uh, <laughs> that I'm able to break. Oh, jeez. I mean, I assume that I'm supposed to be able to, or that I'm supposed to be blowing up these water things, like the attacks or whatever they are from Star Wars. <laughs> I think that's the first time in this whole game though that I've seen uh, one of my partners actually get hurt. Jeez, oh, and now I'm getting hurt by running into things, but this map is helping me out. Oh fuck, oh jeez. Decently alright. This might be about to come to an end. Yeah, there you go. Now, can you do the same for me? Like, uh, give me some kind of shield recharge. Those always seem to come right when I need them, but uh, apparently not this time. And now I guess I get to see. Yeah, I don't know. I think those. I actually don't know. Never mind. 
I thought the icon on the top right was, uh, or top left rather, was the, uh, the bombs that I had, but that might actually be the likes, and I was completely confused, and the things in the bottom the right had bombs. I feel like that would probably make more sense. Oh, jeez. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, okay, but I'm just kind of cut off in other things, there you go. Oh, oh, I can't grab that now. while being assisted by Peppy, you know, funnily enough. I know this isn't even the game that that being even comes from, technically speaking. Uh, yeah. This point I'm just kind of holding up. I just get crushed into by a bunch of those enemy ships. I feel like this might be where uh, our journey comes to an end. I think we just lost uh, I just lost my final extra life. But funnily enough, the, uh, <laughs> the time's about to run out, so that's actually pretty convenient. Up here in this part to let me assist or assisted as a steam. Tell me about Mutel, but then ends up helping you out for a while. I guess we just need some power to ensure they're open and brought today. For all the difference that's gonna, that seems to be making in this. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, I thought it was some kind of gold ring there, but I didn't manage to grab it, so. I mean, I must assume that I didn't manage to grab it because I'm like that. Yeah, absolutely nothing happened about this. That would have actually saved me by like refilling my shield or something, but, but there you go. Andros shows up to taunt you with his weird monkey cape outfit, his monkey opera outfit. Just as the time runs out, how uh yeah. <laughs> I mean we have a credit, but nah, that's okay. <laughs> We're we have run out of time, so that's that's quite alright. Uh, but yeah, that was Star Fox, I guess. I fuck how long I just <laughs> pressed F1 while well, had the word wrong window highlighted. I want to do this. Let me check some of these achievement uh, descriptions that I got. Obtained a twin blasters, which I guess I never did before that moment. One Mofagin barrel roll. Complete the Space Armada. Yeah, I did complete the first couple of levels at least. Disable a payload of five proximity bombs, <laughs> which it helpfully let me know that I did. Peppy the old what for, I guess, just shoot Peppy by accident, and kill Steel from Peppy. Remind Sleepy who's boss, so there's literally achievements for attacking your own teammates, okay. But we didn't get to do that with Falco even. She just didn't uh, show up during the stages, but... Well, yeah, there you go, Star Fox. I don't know if I would say that, uh... I wouldn't necessarily be super committed to playing that normally and, like, trying to actually finish it, but... But it's not out of the question, I guess. Uh, and, like, do it on stream legitimately, I guess, to be more uh, specific as to what I mean by that. But let's do one more game. Let's see what we're gonna have as our final show. Just the buggery profile. Ominous music continues. It's going to be... Well, you know, it's gonna be something that lets me actually get some use of the uh, arcade stuff that I set up in sort of um, anticipation to this. Not a game that I don't think I will necessarily have any hope of actually completing, but you know, that do be how it is. We can actually try it out on stream and find out for real how uh, I heard of a prediction that is. Not yet, bubble bubble. I'm pretty sure that I already got this running, so it shouldn't be hard at all. Just a matter of finding this. 
seconds finding a thing that has an approximately accurate title to what I'm trying to uh, do here. And get the game capture up again, which should just be there. Yeah, here we go. Let's do the reset, I guess, so you can just look at the title screen. There you go. And stop the music since it just try to go to another track, but that's okay. But yeah, let's I suppose finish things up here with bubble bubble for tonight. Trap enemies inside bubbles. First bubbles with your horns or fins, so I mean I thought it was literally just um just make contact with the enemies the right way. Uh, once they're in the bubbles, but yeah. I'm not mistaken, there's like an actual uh, sort of end game for this. Let's put in just one credit, sure. We might put in more if it lets me like do more, but let's just do it. Normal game or super game, let's just do normal game, I guess. There we go. The beginning of a fantastic story, let's make a journey to the game of monsters. Let's see exactly how this is gonna work. Uh, okay, this spot is for jumping. I was like, I was a little confused as to how exactly it works with um, with the arcades because I don't think there's like a super standardized arcade thing that you can reference for what the controls are supposed to be. Okay, so apparently the I never really realized this, even though I have played this game in the past. But apparently to, like, kill the enemies once they're trapped in the bubbles, you're supposed to hit them with, like, the back of your... Like, either jump on top of them or hit them with the back of your normal body, I don't know. Well, jumping on top of them does seem to work a lot more uh, consistently. So I'm pretty sure it's like Pac-Man where there's a theoretical ending, except it's much less uh, accidental. Then in Pac-Man, we're all both <laughs> lost that one up already, but... We're instead of being a, f a kill screen, or oh jeez, something to effect, it's um... There's literally it's supposed to be 100 levels, and when you get to the uh, bottom of that, you actually get an ending. Not that I don't think I've ever seen that myself, but... I think we're gonna be able to do 100 levels in 20 minutes, but let's see. How far we can, in fact, go. Oh boy, I keep getting confused as to what uh, buttons do what, because I keep expecting the um, the bubble button to be the jump button. It's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm also just kind of uh, generally incompetent, as you might be able to divine. Oh. Jeez. I somehow completely failed to realize that uh, I'm not out of life, so I guess I'm going to uh, put in an extra credit just in case. There's like one little uh, little something that you can better just do in arcade titles to uh, maybe make him. In the case of uh, someone like me, at least a little bit less frustrating. Frustrating, but uh, just get unlimited tries by bribing your way to victory, if need be. Oh shit, what? Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but I guess I'll take it. I forget about the water existing. I'm doing that. I don't know, I want to say that Bubble Bubble probably was one of those games that I actually saw played in arcades, at least back in the day. Like, I never really did much of arcade stuff myself, even when I actually was in a place that had them. Oh shit, <laughs> shouldn't have done that, but... There we go. I feel like I vaguely remember this in something like Buster Brothers, or maybe some version of Point Blank I might have seen. seen. Oh shit. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, never mind, I guess it just forces me to stop after I do horribly enough. to express my frustration. I am apparently number one. Today's record is number seven, because uh, yeah, nobody else will ever play this particular build of the game. And game over. I mean, can I just continue? I'm, I can hear the sound of me shoving credits in. There you go. 
I am making this arcade order rich. For all the difference it's gonna be. Let's put in 50 credits right on the, right off the bat. Oh <laughs> They're really just gonna queue 50 times. Well, let's enjoy the sound of 50 credits being uh, gradually fed into the machine as we begin the game again. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. I thought I was actually gonna be able to trap that guy just with the, uh, how quickly I'm shooting out the bolts, but I guess not. Yeah, surely that bribery that I just did is gonna be worth something. I'm gonna be able to make it as far as I damn well please without having to be told that the game is over. Again, I'm getting the buttons mixed up. I don't, know. I don't think I'll ever really be able to get fully get used to these, uh, this particular button configuration. And honestly, I'm a little too uh, wary of the arcade settings for the arcade course in Red Arch to try to change that. So, I kind of don't want to well, have that happen. Have the dude get angry. I was hoping that would happen. Let's see if we can get more points from the cakes than everything else. Apparently we can. There you go. God damn it, please. Do bubble stuff. I don't know what some of the stuff you can get by, I guess, popping certain bubbles do. Like, what does the tea do? Had like a thing you're supposed to uh, sit like in Tower of Draga or some shit where you have to do that and at least like fucking boot like McDonald's fries, okay. But I wonder if it's like a secretly like in something like Tower of Draga where you're supposed to like collect certain things as you go through the game world, so you're not gonna be able to actually finish the game when you get to the end. Oh. That's alright, I would have thought, but okay. It is, in fact, alright because I didn't end up uh, messing me up after all. And get shoved into its trajectory by the water current. Alright, there we go, that was pretty smooth. In comparison to some of the other ones I've had. I'm pretty sure this is right about where I died, so... Surely I'll be able to say the same thing if uh, I end up not dying this time. That would make sense, you see. I guess I'm pretty sure this came up in the, uh, in the last Chase episode in regular runs. It's like Machine said. Uh, Hope you like this track, because it's all you're gonna get for the entirety of the game. Oh shit, I can't actually fall through the floor and get up there. Something I think I had to start to become reliant on. I was AFK when gets split three times. Boy, rip. It was a quick run, wasn't it? So. Oh dear. I don't know how well I can expect this to go, but okay, so I guess all these green bubbles are also are all mine. Pretty sure that there's some bubbles that just kind of from pretty early stages just start coming into existence. Without you being the one to instigate them, but doesn't seem to be the case for the green ones, at least. I certainly wouldn't miss this, yeah. It's one of the ones. I'm pretty sure this is one of the tracks uh, that I put in like my practice list, just uh, because I technically never practiced it before, but just very, very briefly because it's actually extremely easy to identify. So what do I 
don't like quite off of there in I'm pretty sure the same day. Can we collect the bananas? No, it's too late. Oh, we're in level 12. I'm pretty sure that's what the... You can look at the top left to check the level number that you're in. I wonder how far we're gonna get in the remaining... Oh, jeez. How do we get out of here, though? Wait, what? Hurry up. Oh, I guess if you, maybe if you spent like too long on that level, just anger the enemies. And I think there's also like another thing that can happen, like a. It's kind of like a gauntlet or something, or uh, all the games that do that, where if you stay around in one place too long, you can get like a version of death showing up to be like, hurry up or I'm gonna one shot you. Pretty much. I'm pretty sure death shows up in Gauntlet, but not necessarily in that capacity. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> you speak of the devil. Oh, geez, well, I guess I'm gonna have to hurry up and get down here, or else uh, I'm gonna get screwed over. Well, that was a unique level to a certain. Oh boy. And level 13. From the end of the one that's shaped like a heart. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Oh, damn. Did we made it not only the one that's shaped like a heart, but also the one with. Um, with the instant death that comes immediately. So, I guess those 50 credits meant nothing to you. That's a yikes. I can't believe you. Today's record is from 32. Well, clearly not. I didn't get to run for it when I'm the only one who's played on this this totally real Taito arcade machine today. Oh, well, I guess okay. You can't continue even if you bribe your way. First one is for thirty thousand points. Second one is for a hundred thousand points. What? Well, what is a super game? Might as well find out. Let's get another eight and a half minutes of this before we wrap things up. Oh shit! Okay. Is it just that the enemy graphics are different? I wonder. No, well, that didn't show up before either. <laughs> For the difference I've made. Oh, I guess you get a slightly different track if you pick up like an invincibility, invincibility power up in this mode, and also if um, the fucking death flying guy shows up. I feel like that's more like a jingle, though. I wasn't really paying attention, even though it literally just happened. But yeah, it seems to be all the same stages, uh, to minus these details. E. Still not sure what the letters are for, but still part of me that feels that that's it's what I mentioned before. Where you know, better make sure to grab all of these before you get to the end of the game, or else um, you're gonna be pretty disappointed. Oh shit. Seems to be random though, like in Tower of Draga, where you can at least, uh, it's like at least a consistent way that the hidden treasure on each floor works. Oh fuck. There we go. Oh god, I don't really want to be close to this guy. There we go. Oh, there we go, I say, yes, I immediately put myself out of the position where I can actually just. Wow, that's a big watermelon. Or I can just kill him easily, is what I would have said if I had actually managed to finish my thought at the moment, but as we've seen, that's a bit of a rare occurrence. Oh. Come on. I'm sure they can pawn this thing. Come on, there we go. Pawn the... just sound effect of popping a bubble, I guess. In anime terms. I don't think we saw these things at all in the um, the other version of the game. The, uh, the dudes were in like the huts, but I think they're actually supposed to be like um, 
Like, I think the final boss, quote-unquote, of this game is like a giant one of those things, or something, I don't know. I say this based entirely on second-hand knowledge. Oops. <laughs> that was pretty much an oops right there. Let's do another run of the, um... A super game, I guess. Still not entirely sure enough what the, um... The difference is, but yeah. I don't know if I would ever have the, uh... Oh, game over. What do you mean? We clearly still have 49 credits, as you can see. I guess we're, if we put 49 credits into the machine, we're just being a good Samaritan, and the next 49 people who come after us are not gonna have to pay for another one play of this game. And then that night of Dave and Busters became legendary, or something. And funnily enough, someone was talking about Dave and Busters in uh, a different server that I'm in. And, um... Somebody else who I think is from the US said that he didn't know what that was. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure that that is one of the few, like, dedicated arcade places that I think actually does exist where I live. I just don't think I've ever been there. I mean, I'm assuming that it still exists. I'm pretty sure it existed at least uh, many years ago when I was a young person. Oh, I think someone gifted me like a used up credit um, credits uh, card, I guess I should say. Not really a credit card in the... What you would expect when you hear that term. But like a card with like store credit from there. And I'm having a hard time remembering exactly when that was, but I couldn't have been older than like, I don't know. Probably wasn't out of primary school, so it couldn't have been later than like 2006 or something. I mean, I assume it still exists, but what can happen in all that time? Oh shit. I should probably look it up. I feel like I've had that on the mind for a long time, but. I'm apparently too lazy to look into these things and see if, like, there's literally any uh, chance of me finding out dedicated arcade place because I'm pretty sure that my only actual personal detailed experience of any kind of arcade uh, gameplay that I did uh, when I was a kid, I guess, was based on, like, machines, like cabinets that they had in stores and stuff, not like any dedicated place. What was all about that? Oh crap, I thought I was gonna lose a life there for sure, but I guess not. But yeah, that was how I saw like Metal Slug and House of the Dead and probably other stuff like at least one Street Fighter or Marvel game. Don't remember which one. Probably was Street Fighter like Alpha something. I remember it had like um Sangi Affinity, I think, and also that prisoner guy. I think that was Street Fighter 3 or Alpha or something like that. I don't even know what his name is. But I think he was in that. Oh jeez. Oh, okay, that's probably a boomerang. I did not know that. Okay, there's gotta be another... Uh, another oops, but it's more of an oops this time and... Less of an oops this time rather and more of an oof. So I think we have time for one more run, <laughs> with uh, you know, how good I am at this game, which is to say not at all. Apparently the only way to like speed past that screen is to put in another credit. Which seems a bit counterintuitive, but yeah. I'll do Super Game one more time, for these last two minutes. See how I manage to do. But yeah, I don't really know that I would ever be able to actually beat this game by myself. If I am being perfectly frank. Maybe if I did like the NES version, but that's not the one that matches the soundtrack that the chase uses, so... Oh, shoot. Oh, crap, okay. <laughs> Every single time one of those projectiles goes on the screen, I'm like... I'm really freaking shocked that that did not kill me. And, you know, for good reason. Oh, 
potion. Thinking about to die on this thunder might. <laughs> like, I run several faster than I do, but apparently falls a lot slower than I do. Is a violation of physics has led to my survival on this day. This time, I don't think we got that one before. There is a new ladder bubble that I'm completely unfamiliar with. Oh, damn it. I thought I was being clever there by trying to trap that guy in a bubble before I kill the other one. But it doesn't turn right, but I guess that's, uh, that was not to be. Alright. At least not that time, but maybe now it will be. There we go. Sweep the final remnants of the board on the post, kind of. Is there a banana here? I can't see, can't see like, what's behind the uh, freaking blue guy going, hey, second player, that doesn't exist. Push the uh, second player controls that are totally real and can be used. I'm gonna kinda stand in your way here, though. Oh, shit. I mean, I guess I should have seen that coming, but at least I get to. I like the food that was left on top of there, but I can't fall fast enough to where I can collect the thing that was left on the bottom, right, so... Oh, shit. I, mean, I guess I should have seen that coming. Oh, oh just in time, though. And just because that's so uh, oddly fitting, this will be... Oh, not Hag. I, I meant to put hair, but whatever. I guess Hag is, in a manner of speaking, uh, also kind of fitting to... The sentiment that I, that I had there. But yeah, there we go. That was Bubble Bubble Arcade. A game with a theoretical ending that I probably will never see uh, without help. I might actually look into that, but yeah. I think uh, that's about as much of that game that you're going to see on this stream, played by me at least. And that is the final game that I have for now. We still have like all the stuff on this wheel to go over, so... And possibly more if I decide like expand it with other types of games later, but I feel like this is probably uh, not an entirely terrible type of stream to do every so often. Don't know how often, but it certainly has been handy for just trying to de-rust, trying to figure out how to do stream stuff again, but yeah. Gonna bring back the old uh, iTunes playlist with some Metroid Prime Hunters, because why not? To try and play this out. As I figure out exactly how I'm gonna try to play this out, let me see. Is there anything that I want to do right now? As a specific way to do that? Maybe, maybe not. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, yeah, end things off as usual as I've been doing. 
I was just trying to figure out if I was going to try to, like, raid someone, but... I don't think... I see... One who would be, like, um... Good segue from what I'm doing now, and... I'm also very reticent about doing random raids, so... Eh. Oh well, hopefully I'm able to, like, find, uh good way to do that in the future, but alright. I say alright as if that was a like, proper follow-up to what I just said, but no, it's just like what I say. As a knee-jerk word, word filler when I can think of something to say immediately, but yeah. Just like, but yeah, that's another example of that, but at least I'm trying to identify those, but what I actually meant to say, I guess, now that I've at least acknowledged that, is... I guess is that. Hopefully I managed to find a good way to do that in the future, but I don't really have that at the moment. But maybe I need to look into that a bit more, but anyway, let me see. Uh, but yeah, well, but yeah, nothing, because there was no but, but... Pretend I didn't say but yeah. We are going to wrap things up here for the time being. That seems like a much better way to start uh, a closing statement, so to speak. And I will see if I can stream tomorrow, I guess. It might be possible if we're all like, uh, t the stars continue to align and we're all able to like do streams on Friday. More Titan quests, probably, for people to come hang out. And uh, maybe I'll try to do another stream, perhaps not like this, perhaps yes, like this. We'll see if I can uh, figure something else out, maybe on Sunday. I don't know if it would be at the same hour if it were on Sunday, but quite possibly. Like maybe if I do like um, those days at more or less the same hours that I've been doing them this week. Maybe a little bit different in the hour regard, more or less the same. Could be like an alright rhythm for me to try and settle back into. As well as the Friday stuff that is. Seems like a good plan for me to do, but yeah. But yeah, totally. And quite possibly gonna be the, gonna look at Theresa finishing like the first of two stories in Theresa that you can do. Because apparently there are in fact two stories and you can only unlock the second one after you finish the first one. But try to finish the first story in Theresa is like the next stream that I do maybe. By myself at least. But um, also just try to go back to the other 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 bunch of stuff that I left unfinished, but all that in due time for now, I will merely say what I always say, which is you'll take it easy, I think. Everybody for coming, like always, thanks for chatting, always wait whenever people chat, and just thanks for, uh, I guess, bearing with me throughout these bizarre uh, pioneer spirit that I had, I guess, and continuing to be here. And I will be seeing you later for more.